Oh, hello there. Come closer out of the dark and sit around my campfire, why not? My name oh, is of no great importance, but the stories I have to tell you are... Witness, four lost souls journeying together through a grim world of perilous adventure. Be warned, though. These stories are not for the faint-hearted, and once you have heard them, you cannot unheard them. Bear witness to the Vagabond Chronicles. <sighs> Holy shit. Hi. I think. I'm not oh. entirely sure if we're actually <laughs> on. It's, it's like turning up at the party, forgetting where the light switch is, and not remembering where the light switch is, and everybody's still doing the whole, it's a surprise party thing, right? But you're the person who organized it for yourself. It's like that. I don't know. I think the audio is good. Blue Owl says that, audio is good. happened to you, Neil. That's a very mm. specific anecdote. I want to say maybe. I want to say maybe. Maybe this happened. <laughs> Happened. It probably happened. All right. Um, so, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, hashtag. Uh, yeah, the beginning of the thing. Hashtag beginning of the sentence. Neil plays with his friends. Why not? Uh, the Vagabond Chronicles. Um, and hello to my lads. Hello to the lads. How you doing, lads? Hi. Oh, hello. hello. Good morning. Yeah. So, um, as we established last time, our pronouns are he, him across the board. Um, thank you to. Uh, Yogo11, who uh, they are uh, helping us out uh, as always with modding, and I think I believe Blue's in the chat as well. So, hi, Blue. Yeah, looks that way. Yeah, yeah she's in the chat. Cool. So, first hi, thing, chat people, by the way. Hi, chat people. Thank you very chat much. People. Hi, chat yeah. people. Hi, um, chat people. We also, love you, chat people. We do love you, chat We'd... people. I can't it be it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're doing another take, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we love you, Jack. Um, we also have a very exciting, well, exciting for us. It's not really exciting in the world, I guess, but for us in our world, it's pretty exciting. We have our first piece of official fan art. I'm not referring to Steve's incredible drawing. 
as incredible oh. as that is. <laughs> and Steve, yeah. Steve, I want to dishearten you, mate, but I, yeah. I, I, I get the feeling you didn't spend a huge amount of time on that. I think I, I got a packed and impressive amount of information into that, actually. Well... From, a, from if, we did, if we're thinking about it purely in terms of like a bit rate per effort expended, I think that was a really good thing. But yeah, like, <laughs> I'm not going to put it. Yeah, on show or anything. So we just put, we, we wanted to move. The miss, sorry, the missive. The missive. The missive was, you yeah. know, help. Can someone please send me a picture of the the crew? So sure. That I believe, yeah. Yeah, it why why do you outsource it to the kids? You know, that's what I, kids well, are for, well speaking speaking of that, we actually do have a stunning piece of art from Hidden Heroine. Uh, and when I rehearsed the name, I was <laughs> she said Happy Heroine, which is a completely different <laughs> thing, which I am not advocating. But Hidden Heroine, which is so much more interesting than Happy Heroine, Hidden Heroine Kids, um, here in, Hidden not Hidden Heroine. <laughs> <laughs> it's so oh well in rehearsals. So oh well. <laughs> okay, hidden heroine. Thank you very much. Did a stunning piece of art of, and I guess it was like all almost meta cosplay of uh, Miss Veronica Class, who is the was the well is the wife. I guess they're still married. Is there like a divorce decree where if you find out your spouse is like a cultist demonologist, that that's grounds for divorce? I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Certainly not. I think it comes with unreasonable behavior, doesn't it? Is it unreasonable? Well, unreasonable cruelty or something, isn't it? Or... Well, <laughs> oh, you, well, what if you're like in training, like a trainee yeah. cultist, like you haven't actually got to like the whole raising demons from the ground kind of thing? We're digressing, I feel. Okay, mm -hmm. so anyway, Hidden Heroin, it was an amazing, beautiful piece of work. Thank you so much. Uh, yep. The lads and I are really awesome. touched. Yeah. Hi. Is there a way we can post it? Is there a we we need to get a way that we can share this stuff so we that did, everyone we did make it. an Instagram, which we which I have to talk to you boys about. I uh, feel there, I feel, and I want to say this specifically to somebody in the group. I feel there's a lot of characters in the name of the Instagram account. Fitting <laughs> it up was taken. Damn your hide. I kind of feel like it was. It would take a very long time to write that out. I'm just, I'm just going to throw it out there. So it's not like I don't want an Instagram account for this thing because I really love doing this with my friends. Playing with my friends. Um, I think we need to post the art on the Instagram account. We do. Yes. So I think we need, we're going we're gonna to maybe have a chat after the session about the Instagram account and what we could call it. Yes. like. Is it's, 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 isn't like a thing where you can link it or something? I'm I think not so. No, I can link. We can link it. So we won't have to. Yeah, so we'll have a changes. we'll have a chat. We'll have yeah. a gin and tonic. We'll sit down at our sofas and we'll have a very adult chat about the Instagram account, and then we'll start <sighs> posting. You're gonna get it up, <laughs> Jim. I'm not saying no. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying can no. Can post shorter links. I can make that happen. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, look. Listen. We're gonna do that, and if people want to share more, if there's more fan art, then we're going to post it up on the Instagram Indeed. is the point of all this. Indeed. And then we're also going to start thinking yeah. about ways to get your involvement into the campaign. Uh, ideas, possibly some, maybe some magical items or some completely yes, ridiculous items. Yes, some magical items would be great. Please. Well, yes. just as long as they're like, like not that useful, but under really specific <laughs> circumstances, like a spoon that can make gravy taste like porridge. I don't know, something like that. Not, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. But along those lines, right? Like Willy Wonka's spoon. Like a Willy Wonka spoon. Everything tastes like chocolate, <laughs> no matter what it is. You could be eating poo, but it tastes very like Warhammer. That's very very Warhammer. Warhammer. Very Warhammer. The, the PCs yeah. will find a way to abuse that. Yeah. The, the, whatever you give us, we will Well, that's it. the creativity, Pete, isn't it? That's um, the plan. So yeah. first and foremost, for, well, <laughs> lastly, I guess, I should introduce our players. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's go. Oh, my <laughs> Yeah. Let's, go. let's go. We're only six minutes in. I think we're falling behind from last week, so we can pick it up. <laughs> so, so let's go ahead and say hi, or hello, good day, mate, to our resident Pom in Down Under. I believe is Pom an offensive term for British people? We're British, so we can say that. I think. No, no, no. I'm I'm an expat. I am not an immigrant or anything like that. Um, I, I, right. I'm uh, Pete. I have a mysterious past. No, wait. No, no, no you don't. Have have your your past is pretty past. straightforward, dude. I went to school. And I know exactly what your past is. It was interesting it. to a point, but it wasn't mysterious. <laughs> Let's be fair. Uh, I mean, it means time. he doesn't know how we got to Australia. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> they put me in a crate and ship me over on a boat. There you um, go. So you were, like, I'm, I'm playing Teddy, a a, a wondrous little uh, halfling uh, with a mysterious past and a penchant for 
No, I'm not going to go there. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> A punch of what? Dude, you can't leave that hanging. A punch of what? Snacks? Oh, I'm going to do it three, but you? Nah, not go there. Let's just... Okay, All right. so you're going to punch off for something which will reveal at some point in our campaign at the right moment. Great, cool. Be any more mysterious. So mysterious. Exactly. You feel the mystery here, folks. All right, so thanks for that, Pete. Maybe maybe we should talk about that at the adult gin and tonic I've probably been awake for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the chance. Cool. Uh, Next up is in the list is Ziggy, which is played by Stephen. Hi, Dr. Steve. What's up, Dr. Steve? Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, that's right. That's, that's really all there is to say, really. Ziggy is a young man. He's only 17, and he's just starting out in the world, bless him. Um, he's not much fun at a party. He's the sort of guy who stays up all night uh, revising for a test the next day when everyone else is out partying. But it does mean that he's very, very good at what he does. Um, and uh, yeah, he uh, yeah, like he, he his his shtick so far is he's aspiring to have a mysterious past one day. That's right. Um, but <laughs> so far, his life has been one of uh, toil and insignificance. Does so he, does he like have like a, in his back pocket that he doesn't like to show people like the big book of mysterious pasts? It's like it's one of those like kind of like. I don't know. It's like kind of like the, the the Warhammer equivalent of like a lingerie like book that nobody knows he's got, but he just flicked through and you have mysterious past that he sort of reads at night when the lights are all low and stuff to himself. I mean, so that, that kind of thing. Do you think? Yeah, sort of a well thumbed sort a of Nostradamus sort tone. of <laughs> sort of like that, the things that he can do to increase his uh, his impact on the world going forward. Right. Yeah, he's a seventeen year old. Be right. Famous. Cool. It's, it's sort of covered in. He, he tends to spit a lot when he's angry, so it's covered in in spit and uh, you know uh, <laughs> runs about people who haven't taken him seriously. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay. he, he's he, he's he's going to be trouble. Cool. And that is this gentleman over here. <laughs> gentleman, he's barely around. Okay, so this boy over this boy man over here uh next in the order of things i'll get to all explain what the fuck is going on here because some people are new which is great so hold <laughs> hold just hold on <laughs> hold on to your hats i think is the thing floor makes sense eventually floor makes sense eventually like sort of it like says a you. yeah it, it all makes sense i was trying to think of a food analogy to it more making sense but i think i ran out hey can we still talk about cake cake everyone likes cake everyone likes everyone cake, likes cake. But cake everyone likes them when they're a baby it's not like, at the bottom yeah but it's not like you like you don't like cake as a baby like all babies like cake that's the problem. That's why you got to get. It's like they're like rats. You have to get babies away from cake. Like you have to get rats away from cake. They'll just eat the whole Kim thing. Give them tiramisu. Like works every time. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're saying babies equal rats. Is that? What I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying they're like. It's a simile, motherfucker. Okay. So next up on the list is Tom. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Uh, Raskin? Raskin is currently flying over here. Hi. Yeah. Again, yeah. folks don't know what's I'm going on. Don't worry about this. He's getting away yep. from the evil um, Mrs. Klaus. Um, so my character is Rattigan, who is the hedge wizard, the 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 maddened yokel peasant, uh, does magic by accident just when he really wants things. Uh, he's just had a religious experience in a church of Tal, who is the sort of nature god in Warhammer. Um, which means he's sort of been blessed and got a cool amulet from it. Um, he's just basically so finding, he didn't like, really know it. He just finds stuff along his travels. Or he got, he got a bathrobe and decided to become a wizard. He's quite he's around. Like, yeah, yeah. He. I don't know if we've got the character pictures around, but yeah, he. Uh, he, he mainly wears a, a bathrobe that he stole from an inn. Um, <laughs> Cause uh, it quite, cause it made him look like a wizard. <laughs> he made him look like a wizard exactly. Right. Uh, he's Bless trying to be a wizard. Yeah, he isn't really. Um, he's kind of like a sorcerer, uh, isn't he? He's like an intuitive sorcerer who finds magic by accident. He, he met very it. much. It's just natural talent that he's just tapping into, and he's not sure how, and he's trying to figure that out. And okay. this whole, so the whole child thing is a big clue because he also has a birthmark on his butt. Which, oh god, um, this thing that we you don't know which which cheek it is, and you won't tell us because you're being like a koi carp and just. No, I do know which cheek it is. I'm, well, I'm just. Know. I mean, like I said, when it started, it started glowing when I went into this church, um, which is a big clue, I think, about what his background might be. Um, um, but yeah, so if, if anyone was paying close attention to to uh, his behind during that whole event, during they might. <laughs> um, yeah, 
so that's it. Uh, and at the moment, I'm currently running. Well, we're going to get into. A... So wait, are you saying, Tom, that his cheeks get flushed whenever he's like <laughs> experiencing yeah, tense yeah, emotion? Exactly. His cheeks. Flush. When I, you know, when you know, when most people say their cheeks are glowing when they when they're um, a little embarrassed, his cheeks literally glow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Cool. laughs> Is, uh, does that mean that Ratty's being sort of pursued by someone from the Premier Inn who's like determined to get the <laughs> Don't give away the fucking end game of the campaign, <laughs> right? Don't give sort of the end game of the accounts manager who's after him the, for his room. The, 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 recurrent, the recurrent villain of the piece <clears throat> is a middle management from oh, Bob. Ipswich Services. Hello, I'm from I'm Bob from Ipswich. Uh, I believe on the night of the 29th of 2.25.03 of this great emperor's year, you did stay. No, it's not going to be like that because it will be fucking dull as shit, Steve. We're not doing that. Sorry. You say it's dull until it happens to you. That's right. entirely. But, but Neil, you, Neil, yeah. You're kind of forgetting that this is a grim world of perilous adventure that we're in, and the middle manager who ran the hotel that I stole that bathrobe <laughs> from could be an ogre. It could be, it could a be an ogre. ogre. No, it, could, it could be a bull ripper ogre. That's right. You, it could be, it could you be. Open your mind. I this is the mind. world right. of imagination. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Tom, for opening my imagination. <laughs> Mind you know, blown. You know the expression "pulling the door to"? Well, you've just opened the door of my imagination too. Uh, Good. It's a little crack. Middle management ogre. Thank you for that, Tom. <laughs> Put it on the fucking Instagram account. Thank you. Good luck. All there right. you go. So, last but not least. Oh, by the way, this over here, I guess, is our little rogue, our little Teddy uh, wheat pasture. It is wheat pasture, isn't it? I always forget. It is a steady week past two. Okay, cool. um, last but least, but not leastly, but not lastly, but is lastly, I guess. I'm not sure where I'm going with that. It's Jim. Hi, Jim. Oh! Our resident gnome. Jim! Hey, Hi, right, so my name is Jim. I'm an ITN from Essex, soon hopefully to be Suffolk. And I, I play a gnome character called Bondo is at this stage a pharmacist but has delusions of grandeur to being a Giver style engineer and all round adventurer. So is at the he moment, like, basically, is he, is he it's a bit crap. Is he middle management pharmacist? <laughs> oh no, he'd be low, low cast professional. So he didn't even make it to middle management before he became an adventurer? No, no not management, he, he does things. He, actually, he makes things happen, so he's not management. Right, okay. Did he aspire to become a middle manager? <laughs> oh no, he wants to be a doer. Right. And why is this turning into like a careers advisement episode? Let's move on from oh, this. Don't, okay, don't. cool. Those are <laughs> our four wayward adventurers. Now, for those folks who have no idea what's going on, good luck. But for those that know something that's going on, I'm going to sort of go through the beginning again. This is the old world. You can't see the top of it because some reason Tabletop Simulator won't make, let, make, let me make... Oh, wait. Sorry, my tongue just jackknifed in my mouth there. Okay, so it won't <laughs> let me look up, so I can't show you the whole of the old world. But basically, it looks a lot like Europe. This is kind of like Germany and Austria, and this is the old world. Our heroes are down here, where you see Carrick Hearn in the Border Princes, and they're going north through this uh, craggy pass just here, with a group, a wagon group, uh, led by the famous merchant and philanthropist, uh, Sinter Class, no relation, um, they they were in, in, engaged as scouts, and they made it to Dunkelhof, which is this little town, a little village up ahead, to see what happened. The villagers were, previously the year before, were subjected to a terrible pox, which wiped out almost half the population. Um, but when they entered the town, there was nobody to be seen. They were beset on all sides by these big furry, we now call them rachnoids, but for a while their, their identity was a little confused. We even went as far as to suggest they were fucking rabbits. They're not rabbits, this is a rabbit, this is a rabbi rabbit. We say the red is a rabbit. <laughs> Yeah, we watched the last episode, folks. It's very fucking complicated. They're rabbits, the with, they're rabbits with suits on, with like leg suits. What? Oh, uh, they're uh, rabbits. No. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they were leg suits like this. Their like, like rabbit pantaloons. Fuck rabbits up, dressed as rabbit spiders. Fuck like, up. and the rabbit, that's why they didn't have the right number of legs, because rabbits can't count. So they made suits with the wrong number of legs. It explains it all. <laughs> that, that's just okay. a lie. Okay. Okay. I'm going to draw the, 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 the people's attention to Upset Angry Neil. Uh, angry, upset Angry Neil was really about the slingshot he didn't get when he was like 12 years old. But I'm going to now make it about this idea that rabbits are somehow hidden in these suits. Oh, no. I'm going to put question marks around Angry Neil. I love 
makes me yeah. sad to see that now. It does, isn't it? Like that's what I'm trying to do is bring you back all back into the game. I'm still really impressed with your drawing of your elbows and your cross cross like arms. It. Yeah, it's, it's neatly yeah. done, isn't it? It's says it all with very few lines. <laughs> okay. It's like Fido Dido, but so, more expressionate. So back to what I was trying to say. This is a grim world of perilous adventure and uh, the Warhammer world, the Warhammer first with edition. Penguins world, and rabbits. <laughs> Um, if you are interested in this game, um, anybody that is familiar with Warhammer knows it's quite brutal. Uh, we deal with a percentile system, but we're going to get into that as we go. Um, last we saw our adventurers. Um, they'd explored the town, they'd entered the chapel. Tom had, ha sorry, Raskin had this crazy spaced out vision and a priest died in his arms, um, telling him that essentially, not that he was the chosen one, but that he was the chosen stupid one and that something he, he was there to do was terribly important although he died just as i guess he fought he died by he expired as he farted or did he fart because he expired for the latter way, i think relax he, 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 relaxed, sure. he relaxed into it so yeah he died in his arms and at that point the uh, they were attacked by a mini horde of these spider-like rachnoid creatures that are not rabbits for canon um if you want to make him rabbits i can't stop that so go for broke um, they then found the town hall where they realized that the, maybe the majority of the um, inhabitants were still there. And indeed, they saw them, a horrific sight of these smaller, lesser, middle, and then giant spiders they'd been attacking. Or spy, sorry, rachnoids um, were cocooning the, um, the inhabitants of the village. In the center were two goblins uh, flanking a mysterious... See, this is a mysterious figure. This is what mysterious figure looks like, Steve. Fucking mysterious. Look at that. Okay, okay. Like, with a big hat and everything. So, in my, head, in my head, though, now she'll forever be the fan art because that was, uh, you know, that's burned Yeah, that's true. So, I, wish I, so I, have, I, have, I have to say, you, you know, this is just a hollow representation now of that. That's true. The fan art was completely boss. Okay, creation, okay. yeah. So, the fan art is now what it looks like. Um, she uh, turned around and took off her cowl to reveal that it is actually Veronica Sinterklaas, or sorry, Veronica Class, Sinterklaas's wife, but she of course has her own profession as well, she's an independent woman, <laughs> she's a cultist, <laughs> so she yeah. is Veronica Class. Sinterklaas is her husband, I think is a better way of saying it, um, and she's turned around, and, and it was fl flooded, the room flooded with, with green gaseous, um, I put myself into a literal verbal hole there, green gaseous, I can't go anywhere with that, with green gas, <laughs> liquid, you know, vapor, shit, mist, what the fuck do you want? I'm doing this half drunk. Mist going through the room, <laughs> engulfing you all. Um, and as she, as this sort of washed through you, uh, she turned and said, ah, you've arrived. Now, let me introduce you to my real family. This is paraphrased because I have no fucking idea what I said last time, but that's the general gist, folks. That, that, that yeah, that's about right. Brilliant. I'm sober. That can vouch for Pretty that. sure somebody went dun 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 at the end of it as well. Um, yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. That's the episode over, folks. Enjoy. Bye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So sorry. This is a really slow start. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long weekend. All right. So we did good. What did we get? Twenty what minutes. A lot more ground. Fucking hell. Yeah. That was shorter. Okay. Mm. You're doing good, Neil. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for believing in Tom. Yeah, yeah, you are doing thanks, good, Neil. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, just so everybody can't remember, these four, and we've included Jim now, these four people make me giggle like a school child. It's not me having a stroke. I generally sometimes giggle like that <laughs> in the right circumstances. This is one of them. All right, so um, last we encountered, we had uh, Corporal Ziggy Hauptmann and um, our pharmacist Bondo, who speaks in third person, um, were entered into as brash as as brash as what? Can somebody give me a, a simile here? Which is a brash thing on National Brash Day. <laughs> really digging the bottom of the barrel, and we're in barely twenty minutes yeah, in. Okay, thank you. Thanks for scraping. Thanks for scraping, Jim. Um, we, our, our thief. <laughs> Thanks for scraping, dude. All right, so scrape, 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 scrape. Uh, don't need to go through the barrel now. How interesting. This is probably a shiny. Fun. <laughs> okay, so um, Ooh, our, our, barrels, rogue, that's a good idea. our rogue who is peering through the window on top of the building, which is this is a this is the building over here, folks. More or less, it's actually a bit more rotund than this, but don't judge it by its size. Um, and this is sort of the open window which uh, our thief is staring into. Uh, Ratigan decided to, to I'm doing air quotes, which you can't see because there's no video, but going back to get the oil, uh, which they it didn't use <laughs> earlier, uh, to use to make fire like cavemen. 
I guess, right? Is that, are we going to roast something, Tom? I'm not sure. What I'm going to burn that. the round building down. <laughs> Good luck with that. Have fun. Okay, so that's what's happening so far. Um, uh, so vastly outnumbered uh, with a sudden Tom, that's shocker. A that's a sudden, crime. Especially because she was so nice to all of you. She was like lovely. She was handing out like, like mid-journey snacks and crumpets. She was checking on you all the whole time. When like Bondo had some like stomach cramps, you know, he... She was very nice and gave him a hot water bottle and things like that. So, you know, she was... Can, a, I, can, I, yeah. can I just point out that Pete's comment on, on uh, getting the amazing fan art of her was, um, pity she's going to be dead in about half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see um, me? You see, you're say that. You say that. You say that. You say that. I will but... fumble a few rolls and should be dead in an hour and a half instead. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you say that, folks. But from where I'm sitting, which is behind my, my beautiful brown leather GM's book with all their fucking stats in it, I'm not entirely sure. I think I may kill you all. I think this may be a mistake. I might have to start a new podcast with different people and just never refer to this ever again. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we never speak of. <laughs> Can I just clarify what all these um, the sort of the stick sticky dudes are? Because <clears throat> some of them were dudes like wrapped up in spider web, I think, Indeed. and some of them were yeah. spiders. So can you so, just clarify which is which? Oh, so on, as well, on, on the ground, yeah. on the ground, we do have um, the. So you can move the hand there, Pete. Thank you. So on the ground, there are these cocooned uh, humans, humanoids or humanoids rather. Um, they are the villagers, presumably. Uh, in fact, you did see one of them here, which was hanging up from the, the rafters with a head poking through it, sort of complaining and, and phys in physical pain being finished by a couple of these mini spiders. Um, they're at least kind of, I say mini spiders, they're about the size of a large dog. Um, the medium sized spiders, of which there are a couple here and here, um, are slightly bigger, but the giant spiders are actually almost about five feet tall and they're enormous. There's also two goblins. So these cocoon think they're fucking enormous, yeah. These cocoon, and you've already fought two spiders. of the giant spiders before. Three of them actually, indeed. So you came off quite well from them. So there's, so there's two giant spiders, five medium spiders, uh, two Five goblins. little spiders. Five little spiders and, and maybe a medium spider at the back, yeah. And, and two, two goblins and Mrs. Klaus. Yeah. I'll make these- Oh, it's gonna be easy. I yeah. like those odds. <laughs> I'm not shopping for this party ever again. Yes. <laughs> and let's see, you right. have a 17 year old, a pharmacist who wants to be some kind of engineer without the proper recruitment details, a hedge wizard who accidentally sneezes magic, and a coward. Very good. Good luck, folks. Let's go. Let's <laughs> just <laughs> just All right. Just because I use tactics does not make me a coward. Tactics. You're running just away, you say. fucking coward. Are we in sort of initiative order at this well, point? Well, here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because she gave you. She, one she's of still those, reading a box. Yeah, she's she? still reading her little box of narrative <laughs> instructions. <laughs> and by the way, it's no longer a box, it's a pentagon. It's a little pentagon of instructions that I write myself about what they should say at any given moment. Um, yeah, but so the, she's finished her, her speech, a little mini monologue. Um, you're now allowed a, like a, a retort, I guess. <laughs> Please make it good. This is live. Oh, <laughs> Was our characters literally went dun dun dun? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. That was the report. That's brilliant. That's genius. That's uh, all I can hope for and more. Okay, so you had, hand. So, oh. so so yeah. so so not wanting to give his position away, Pete went dun dun dun, but everybody else went dun 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 <laughs> like that. And Tom started running oh, away, I going dun, dun dun dun. Like yeah, I, I yelled it very loudly as I'm running back to the barrels. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so oh, now... Did we not do the EastEnders? I thought it was the EastEnders ending we did last time. Oh, God, God no. Oh, it was. <laughs> it, was. <laughs> it, was. <laughs> it doesn't play globally, the EastEnders. I'm sorry. It really uh, doesn't. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, so it is a new round. I believe out of everybody, Teddy has initiative. So, Teddy, do you want Teddy, to take away? What the fuck is that? As I said, I think I said last time, is that I'm seeing uh, Ratty running away. I am going to go and join him. Yeah! Teddy, you're my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, realizing the odds are overwhelming and stupid okay. let's 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 i'm running down the pipes and away from this building so that i do not get devoured by spiders yeah because you think he's running away. Yeah, that makes sense all right cool uh so. yes so so in that case i am a coward you are right um, there's yep. no tactics here but i'm getting the fuck out of dodge all right fair enough um okay so you start doing that and um I can't help but feel like, as a god, I should punish you somehow, but we'll get to that later. All right, so, <laughs> I guess you are playing your character. What? Right? What? So, <laughs> what? 
Just because you're an easy target. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I'll run into the mouth of the spider then. Thank Does that you. make you feel better? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know why that makes me hungry, but I have a real craving for chocolate right now. Um, this is oh, danger snacks are around. Danger snacks are around. Okay, yep. so that's your round. Okay, you can make it down to the ground. You start bolting towards the flapping madman that is Raskin. Um, next up in the order <laughs> is um, Corporal Hauptmann. Um, what do you have to yeah. What's going on? Are they? What, what's what's the sort of the disposition? Are they? Are these enemies sort of like menacingly approaching towards us? I know it's all static, but are they sort of like? You know, moving towards us, or are they sort of awaiting to see what we do, sort of thing? They're definitely the seeming to be. A, they definitely seem to be awaiting things. Okay. Like in, in actual that fact, nobody seems to be trying to like charge you, or they're just sizing you okay. up. And if anything, you do notice there's a strange, curious, confused look on um, on uh, Veronica's face. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, with a flourish, because I've got my sword and my shield, like with, with a flourish, sort of, you know, flip sort of the uh, uh, the end of the sword around and then put it into my scabbard and turn slightly towards Bondo. And I'm going to follow my lead. And then I'm going to sort of uh, stand upright and sort of click my heels together in best Teutonic style, like I'm sort of greeting a woman of um, grace and bearing. And I'm going to say, uh, Frau Veronica, you're in terrible danger. Come with me. These madmen have killed the townsfolk. <laughs> I really want to make you wrong for this. Man. There's no reason. I'm There's no point. Approach her, approach sort of hand drawn. But my, in my cunning, you see, it's it's all a ruse. You okay, see? And sure. in, my cunning plan is to stick a knife in her belly when I get close enough. But I'm sort of approaching her, sort of pretending like to sort of oh want God. to pull her away. So uh, although it's <laughs> although it's okay, back up a second. So although it's crystal clear to anybody that's sane that this yes. woman is clearly in cahoots and this is in fact her chaotic band, yep. you're playing the ruse that. I'm here to save you. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm playing the role of the buffoon because. Sure. Because okay, that, that makes sense. All right. That's my sort of stupid sort of stiff. So that's 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 my idea is to sort of fool her into thinking that she's that I haven't understood the situation. Okay. So she, so it's you're gonna. Have, it's you're, like a double double bluff. A du it's a triple double and quadruple I'm bluff. I'm relying on Bondo to understand that and follow me. Back yeah. Up, so, okay. sure. so why don't we <laughs> make? <laughs> why don't we have some fun and make you make two tests? One is a fellowship test to convince Bondo of what you're trying to do. Because neither of you speak battle okay. tongue, I believe. So you're going to try and you first. You have to convey to him what you're doing. Then you have to try and blather, I guess. Which blather means to confuse by talking nonsense to a person to buy yourself a bit of time. It just basically confuses them. So the first test. Do you is, have the blather? Do you have blather? Sorry, I have blather. Uh, I've got skill. etiquette, which is the next best thing. I think you'll find. I'm going to let you make an etiquette, Ooh, an etiquette fancy. bonus to your role to blather against the yes. Veronica, because you would be yes. super charming and talking like a fucking moron. It, 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 it was a particularly disarming click of the heels. It was a particularly disarming <laughs> click of the heels, like <laughs> click right. like yeah. that. Really sharp. Yeah. All right, so you, wow, okay, so you actually convey, so Jim, you're, although you know it, your character now knows exactly what he's doing, and it sounds <laughs> fucking genius. He's going to try and double, triple, quadruple bluff Veronica into thinking she's being rescued, although she knows she's not, she's going to kill them, but then she stops and goes, wait a minute, am I killing them, or am I going to rest being rescued by them? And it's going to give you a little bit of time. Okay. Do I, I can't do believe I... I'm allowing this, but cool. Okay. That's, okay now you have to it's roll a... against Veronica. So it's your fellowship. What is, it, what is your fellowship, please? It's not bad, actually. It's 37. 37, which is pretty good for a starting character out of 100. Yeah. 37, yeah. I'm going to give you plus 10 because you're so fucking charming. Oh. All right. Okay. So okay. 47. Heal Cliff again. 78. That's a big fat fail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so you click your heels. You give you basically give this one huge wink to Jim, who immediately understands what the fuck you're about to do. Somehow, it's the way your eyes crease around the edges. I don't know. It's so fucking good. And then you step forward and go, "Allow me!" And then she immediately like puts out her hand, <laughs> and your feet get swept away from you, and you just land straight on the floor. Boom! Allow me! Like that. And she and she puts her hand down and goes. There, there is only two of you. I was led to believe there would be a third or a fourth. Where is the buffoon? And she sort of, I, she just stands I, there, like with this question hanging in the air. Uh, let's hold there a second. Tom, hello, Tommy. Hello. Yeah. What are you up to, sir? What are you doing? I'm still covering ground to the barrels. You see a couple um, of barrels in front of you. Oh, are these the barrels here. Yeah, you find oh, some a couple of barrels. Yeah. 
Uh, cool. I'm going to grab the closest one then. Uh, <laughs> um, it looks like I've probably got enough time to go and grab one and then maybe turn around and get some of the way back. Do you read or write? Do you have skill read or write? Um, get a thing you don't I write. do not. Okay. No, I don't. Do you want to make an intelligence test to work out whether or not that symbol on the barrel is the symbol you saw before? Yeah. Why not? I believe... Am I right in thinking <laughs> that, that magical um, that magical amulet that I got in the church last game? So I'm just doing that, an in and out. Hang on a second, Tom. I'm just doing an in and out like camera movement on what the symbol should be and what the symbol might be. Okay, so... Um, oh, God, it's a right water barrel, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, okay, uh, you get an intelligence bonus. You, do, you, you got plus 10 from your blessing that tower okay. gave you to your intelligence and initiative. So I got a roll. Willpower, sorry, willpower. I got a roll under 43. 43. Okay, so I'm just going to grab that as well, don't you? I got luck, which will take it up to 53 if, if, I, if, if my luck is holding. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. All right Let's all right. Roll. roll. I pass. Where's your dice, dude? I can't even see them. They're, they're here behind the... Look, I just rolled 36. Okay. They're here behind the... <clears throat> That's the, a pass. There. Not yeah, I pass. You. All right, so you identify this one is a water barrel, and this one is has the same symbol as earlier. This is the, the barrel with the kerosene in it. So this one would be a stupid right. barrel to pick up. Your hands sort of like hover over the stupid barrel. They go to like the good barrel. Then they go back to the stupid yeah. barrel again. And they go back to the kerosene barrel. And you pick I up. stick my head in the stupid barrel. Yeah, you briefly. Actually, yeah, you put your head in. Think, you should probably test it. Okay. So you dunk your head in the yeah. water barrel. It's not kerosene. Is your first thought? Hmm. Um, oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping for a lovely, lovely, refreshing drink of kerosene. <laughs> okay, of petrol. <laughs> right, right. Cool. It's also the first wash you've had in a month, yeah. isn't it? All right. So you've had a pretty fire. Yeah. Okay. So you pick up the barrel, heft it over your. It is, it is, uh, there is a lid on it, by the way, um, and you start hoofing it back. Much to the surprise of Teddy, who's now crossing you as you start hooping it past him with a big fucking. Ass. And I yell, so I yell to him, "Other one's water!" So I stuck my head in it. It's water. <laughs> All right. Let's um, and I want to point out, Neil, that I'm not running directly towards the entrance. what I'm guessing is very open entrance. I'm sort of going to skirt around to the side. Yeah. So if you look of, at the map, the dude, um, this is the entrance where Bondo and Steve are. This. Uh, here represents actually um, if I just draw a little thingy here this is actually a, win there, a window it? here um, oh no that's not the window this is the fucking spider whatever you know fuck it um, this is the window here which is on the first floor I'll, I'm going to draw a quick cross section and that's like the this is what the building kind of looks like right so it's a little bit like this building over here but it's more round and there's a first floor mm. window here and there's a, some boxes and like a drain pipe here uh, which goes some guttering, and that's how our are our they conveniently placed under the window boxes? It's slightly like, to the like left, but there is a there is a um, it's only a first story, so it's not that high. Um, but there's a little drainage yeah. pipe that you could maybe utilize, I guess. I mean, you've got the little the little halfling with you, so you could you could use him. You know, if I'm you're gonna not, stand on him. Okay, sorted. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I'm heading, out. I'm heading for those boxes. Then. All right, you're gonna have these boxes. I think. I'm, I'm guessing I don't reach at this turn because it's quite a way, but mm, I'm. You um, get to the boxes at the end of your turn. I mean, you're, you're pretty fast, but not that fast. So, yeah, you pick it up and you start hoofing it back in your. No, yeah. Teddy's okay. going like. All right, sweet. That's my go. No, oh. no, Teddy is going to help him carry the barrel. We don't know yeah. that. We're not there yet. <laughs> Still. <laughs> You might change your mind after you see what's about to happen. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so G Jim, uh, what are you doing? So you've just been given the wink. You see um, uh, Corporal Hartman step forward and go, my dear lady, what? And just get his legs sweep under the, underneath him and he falls over back. Uh, what are you How did he have his legs swept out from under him? You don't know. The is that a magical thing? Or yeah, is it just... Veronica held up a hand and suddenly he was on the floor. Right, okay. Not one to be messed with. No. Right then. Lady, you keep some strange company. What's going on here? How did he have his legs swept out from under him? Oh, can't Ooh, can barely hear you there, dude. Hey? Hello? No, there was an echo there's an echo going on there. I don't know what that yeah. was. That could be Twitch. Okay. Right, so Bondo in his bestest voice. Yeah. Lady, you keep some strange company. What's the plan here? Okay, um, so you're sort of, you're 
retorting to retort. time. Yeah, okay. Um, so she goes. So she I, like, I like the way that our guy, I like the way that our two guys here have com- opened these doors to be confronted by a vision of pure hell. You know, like giant spiders everywhere, goblins, evil wife of sin. <laughs> trying to have a chat with her <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're distracting her while we get barrels Tom, it's, it's just what they would expect yeah. right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the really bond good. scene you've got to have a chat in the bond scene haven't you yeah. uh, the lair the lasers coming up the middle the guy's about to get his knickknacks divided yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, making some, yeah. you're making some whopping assumptions about what's going to happen next but that's okay all right so your knickknacks so far is still attached to your body so let's just focus on the positive the aren't learn experience now that's fair enough okay so she sort of steps forward as she does so the two goblins sort of step back but the spider-like arachnoids um the giant one steps forward and a couple of this the little one stops doing what it's doing and one of the media these these all still like preparing uh the townsfolk so they're not really moving um can bondo can you make an initiative test please and steve as well please Okay. Initiative, uh, initiative, doesn't know. Yes. initiative is your quick wittedness, your reflexes, your perception as well to some degree. Oh, spectacular fail, lovely. Excellent. Okay, it's not nice. a critical failure, which would be 96 to 100, uh, which is a failure 63. no matter what. But it's pretty, pretty fucking close. Uh, and Steve, what did you get, sir? I thought I rolled those. Did you roll those? <laughs> <laughs> One's over by the red box next to mine. Oh, oh my dice I'm, here. I must uh, have clicked. Oh. Exactly the same time as you. That's fine. I'll try it again. I'll do it again. Here we go. Don't try it again. <laughs> Wait a second. Got a second word. Oh, oh, try again. Out. My roll's crap. <laughs> Turn the fuck out. You can't re-roll something just because I what the camera was thinking you were Jim. That's not no, cool, he, Steve. Jim rolled, the, Jim rolled the dice and he got 93. But you rolled yeah. 63. I rolled 63. the same. Or was it 60 or 63 or 93? Where's yeah. your dice, Jim? I'm completely I'm lost. by the red corner, down <laughs> by my <laughs> That's point completely beside the point. Like, you rolled the... You, you know it's what, fuck it, If you want to... 63. I, Fine. I rolled the dice. They only ro- the, I rolled the same dice that Jim did. These ones here, I'm going to roll them again to show you. Um, but, I, but we both obviously clicked at the same time because he rolled and it came up with 60 and I thought I rolled as well. I mean, anyway, I mine are over here. Okay. Yeah, these right. are my you know dice. What? I don't know what Jim. happened. <laughs> But this is kind of one of those roles that actually doesn't make a difference whether you get them right or not, to be honest. I had had an evening, yeah. Fine, I will allow it, Steve. But if I watch this back in about a day's time and realise that you've hoodwinked, I know where you fucking live. (laughs) 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 And I will drive to your house. I will drive to your house. Crime that would to like to 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 (laughs) in front of about fifty people. (laughs) I will drive to your house. I will stand outside it, socially distancing, hold up a big banner, and say, "Steve is a cheat." That's what I'll do. Oh man! They'll drive away because obviously we can't come in either. Honestly, I know. So, so Steve, um, with this amazing zero six roll that you made, um, you look up and you actually see above them, which is the rafters of the building, which is how the building obviously ceiling is held up. You see Mm -hmm. another three spiders. Who are also so at the top of the rafters here, which crisscross like okay. that. You see another three spiders that are cocooning um, more townsfolk. In fact, you see more townsfolk um, being have already been cocooned above you. There's also a window just over here on the side of the building on that floor, which leads straight to the rafters. But you see um, three different spiders above you as well. So actually, your your the odds have increased even further, sir. Um, Cool. Okay, so that is your go. She's still demanding. Uh, she still turns and, and and says, "Where is the moron? I was prophes- My master has prophesied his his uh, attention at, at my at the sacrifice. Without him, all of this is meaningless." And she spreads her an- her arms over. You notice her arms seem longer than is possible for humans. Um, Hold on, we're all this... morons here. Which moron does she speak? Narrowing it down, <laughs> exactly narrowing it down, lady. As GM, I realise that's a flaw. I should have been more specific, <laughs> specific <laughs> in the moronic <laughs> nature of the person she's looking for. Sure okay. so... Are you talking about the hairy moron? Got a buffoon. It's like going to run this game of is the moron an animal, mineral, or vegetable? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> All right. So, so the village, the village idiots. Do we, do we get to do anything on our go, or was, was that our go to spot the spiders? Um, or... that's sort of the end of your go because it's narrative. Well, you you kind of took uh, a narrative action. There's not really much happening at this point, I guess. So I'm gonna okay. sort of start the process again, but now obviously you sort of know where you're at and okay. how things are gonna go. So it's pretty easier for you to like take over now. Um, so so Teddy, you've just run past bon uh, Tom. Sorry, Ratigan. Who's running back with a barrel? Who shouts over his shoulder? Don't take the other one. The other one's full of water. Did you say? Um, and is now running yeah. back to the danger, which is not how you thought this was about to go. Oh God. Uh, well, okay then. I like the idea of blowing stuff up. So let's let's. Then I'm going to go help him carry the barrel. Yay! Well, it's, it seems like the uh, the right thing to do. Cause this guy, this guy's been pretty nice. Okay. So you, you sort of go back to the near stranger that you only met a day and a half ago and decide to join him in death. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you run back and start helping, uh, start helping him with the barrel. Um, he sort of elbows you a few times. It's like when somebody grabs hold of the front of a trolley in a supermarket. They want to help you by pulling, but actually all they're doing is just throwing off your directional drive. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you have somebody do that? It's fucking annoying. So you say you don't want me to help, is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying you don't want to help. It's just that the help is sometimes like not the best thing to do when somebody's got a fucking <laughs> shopping trolley and they're trying to push it through a supermarket and then somebody grabs the front of it, like pulling it along. And it's like, dude, you're not even looking at where I'm going. Neil, you've got a lot of passive to, to work on. When, when did you last see... Did you, did, have you I, seen a counsellor? Not at all. <laughs> I, I know yeah, I'm the idea that this, this whole game session is just Neil's therapy time. I thought that's what I was read. <laughs> you actually try and shrink <laughs> off from Neil. I thought the four of you were work. here for intervention. I thought it was the only four of you were playing. It was just like my therapy. <laughs> yeah, three words for you, mate. Click and collect. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. Steve, that's the, my marriage. Steve, that's the coward's journey. <laughs> Click and collect is the coward's journey. Sometimes, sometimes it's better to, to understand that there's an insurmountable challenge in our lives and just circumvent it. And yeah, click and collect. Click and collect. Right. Or Uber Eats even better. <laughs> click and collect is now the line of the show all right so so moving forward so teddy you're now helping uh tom whether he wants to sorry ratigan you two like, teddy, ratigan how exactly are you helping? how are you helping ratigan how is that <laughs> lead? I, I, I don't know. like i'm doing a conga i don't know maybe being underneath it I'm sure no 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 no, no we're, we're doing that no, no, I'm going to intervene. That's you what you do. You're doing the conga. Up. You're doing the conga now. <laughs> you, grab, you, you put your slightly meaty hands, but small hands, around his weirdly delicate waist and start doing the conga behind him as he's carrying the barrel. So, we're, so I'm spread eagled on the floor, and it's this incredibly tense moment where we're not sure we're going to be tortured to death. And from outside, we can hear dun 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 I'm, I'm, I'm spot Neil. I'm I'm spotting him, right? You know, I'm you're spotting him. him, sure, him right? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Holding him from <laughs> Okay. So you're trying to steer him towards the boxes. Cool. Um, can I, no, no, no. I, I, no I didn't. As in, like weightlifting, spotting to help him sort of stay balanced because I'm sure he hasn't got much core strength being Neil, wizard, and yeah. he's holding a giant Neil, barrel of yeah. liquid. Sure. Neil, can I shout <laughs> to, I to him on his turn, or do I have to wait till? My... No, I it's a free now. action. You can sort of shout, more or less. You don't need to shout. I'm stood right next to you. You know, shout at him because he probably can't hear. He's so small. Oh, he's, oh, he's really oh, far no, away. He may not be small. He's just really, really far away. <laughs> <laughs> he's not sure. He's just super far away from you, so he looks tiny. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout to him. Um, little boy, get up to the window. Get up to the window, little, little one. I want. I want it basically. Yeah, he needs. You, you can climb. You can climb really well, can't you? Teddy can climb really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. got scale share surface, which basically means you can you climb a sheer wall. Get up the window, and I'm going to pass the barrel up to you. Can we do? Oh, you think that's doable? How heavy is this barrel? Is it? Is it sorry, a bucket sorry, or excuse is it me, a barrel? Excuse me, Peter. Thingy, I can't see your name on live, but Peter. What the happened thingy, to your fucking other. accent for the character? Thank you very oh. much. <laughs> Sorry, dude. What's Wait, going no, on? I wasn't. I wasn't in character. Question: How I big sound is, like your is it? A, no, no, not. Uh, is, is, it, is it a barrel or is it a bucket? What is it? It's a barrel. It's a yeah. small barrel, like a gun. They're barrel. small barrels. They're like they're just. They're, they're not very big. They're like about a foot and a half. Yeah. High, aren't they? Like this. 
Yeah, like that. A decent ale barrel. I'm going to put it on your head for, for size, <laughs> just to show the size. It's, it's, it's really important point to point point. Point. where the buckets end and barrels begin. Exactly. <laughs> see, see the barrel? Oh. See the barrel on your head? That's how big the barrel is. Barrels normally have a top, buckets don't. Yeah, there you go. So that's the barrel. That's, that's a very good so, point, Jim. Now, now I can talk in character. So, so what do you bloody want me to do? Climb up a drain pipe holding a fucking barrel and throw it down. No, no, climb up and I'll pass it up to you. <laughs> I feel we're taking a lot of time what? on this barrel, kids. I just feel like we should move it's it forward. This is important. This is going to land, isn't it? Plenty is of time. Important to have to life and death of our characters here, Neil. It's, okay, it's very enough. important. Yeah, yeah, it's very important. Okay, so you we, two, we to, you two talk plan. amongst yourselves. We're going to get back to the meat <laughs> of the moment. That's all right. You work it out amongst yourselves. It's fine. Okay, so back to all right. the action. I'll, um, I'll listen to the crazy wizard. You Why? listen to the crazy wizard. Okay, so she, she again asks you, she steps forward, and this time um, this, she pulls out a sword. And the sword is very ornate. It has what looks like a large spider either side of the, of the hilt, and that class seems like a cross guard. And like sort of clasp the base of the blade and the blade itself is pure jet black and she holds it out and points it at both of you one at a time and goes i'll ask again where is the buffoon she's very repetitive she is a bit i didn't think of the dialogue too much before i wrote this i have a really busy <laughs> weekend so i'm just sort of coming up with it as i talk you know like most of the things i come up with just I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at her with venom in my eyes and say, "You'll never find him. He's one step ahead of you. By now, he would already be bringing down the forces of the Empire upon you. Um, you'll never catch him. He'll outwit you. He's always gonna fox you out, you crazy bitch." And, and, uh, <laughs> at that point, you hear Tom <laughs> stub his toe outside. Go, oh my toe! He's <laughs> a master of the arcane arts. He knows much more than you'll ever know, and his he'll bring his wrath and fire and destruction upon this petty gathering. Great, can you do awesome. that in a German accent now, please, Steve? <laughs> oh, yeah, I completely forgot. I went a bit, I went a bit different then, didn't I? Mm. A bit schoolboy. A bit. Yeah. You know, a bit no, I can't do that again. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So imagine that, folks, but with a really good German, Teutonic accent over the top of it. Yeah, we're, okay. we're with it. All right, so what are, yeah. you, gonna, so what are you two going to do? Because you're in dire straits here. She's asking I'm for something just, you I'm can't just, give her. I'm just blathering at okay. her about that. I was just, just trying to try <laughs> I, I, I yeah, sort of just trying to buy time for the uh, for the other guys. Okay, are you gonna are you gonna pull um are you gonna pull your weapon out or anything like that or not? No, I've got my I've got my um I'm I've got a dagger in my boots and I'm sort of like very aware of where it is. And the idea is that she comes close and then I'll stab her with it um, as a surprise attack. But I'm okay. still I'm just gonna shield out. That's that's my plan. Okay. It's not a perfect plan, I'll be the first to admit, really but it is a plan. It's, it's, it's a plan. Okay, cool. So um, it's now on to yeah, Ratigan. I'm going to use you. I'm going to split you two up because it's going to get really confusing or really quite confusing. So we're going to go from these two to you two. I think that's probably a better use of initiative. If that makes sense. So you two are now at the base here. You've managed to get to the sort of these these um, blocks, these sort of like, what they turn out to be like hay bales, or at least like things like hay bales, or, or material, baseline material. Um, it's enough to get you to here, which is the drain pipe. And you could probably stand um, straight, um, Tom, and be able to lift the barrel up to um, the halfling. So you can Before I do that, I've got a question. Yeah. Um, can I, so I want to rig it as a Molotov, right? I want to tear off. <laughs> I want to rig it as a Molotov. It's a Molotov cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> I'm completely sold. Yes. Hit me with it. <laughs> so, basically, I'm going to tear off a strip of my um, robe. Yeah. And soak it in the barrel. And then, like, sort of, um, sort of basically kind of close the lid with on it with half of the sort of um, uh, rag kind okay. of sticking out the barrel okay. and then and then if if um if um teddy is in place up up by the window i'll pass it up to him okay cool <laughs> okay. So this is the barrel this is what you do is like stick this thing inside i just realized that it looks like i'm drawing the instructions of how to make a molotov cocktail i really couldn't be doing that on twitch so i'm just gonna get rid of that yeah, twitch will kick you. They they will will kick me, yeah. 
That was... You need two kids. There's lots of instructions on YouTube. Yeah, this wasn't. No, Jim, <laughs> Jim, 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 really shut the fuck up, please. Please it's shut the fuck up. I'm just going to draw another picture of a rabbit because that went down really well last time. Uh, so, yeah. so I was trying to draw, absolutely not giving the instructions of how to make a Molotov cocktail. There you go. There's a it's rabbit. It's a rabbit. A rabbit with, <laughs> a little, little, with a black tummy and a white top. <laughs> okay, so let's. Okay. Oh, so you're doing. That Jim and fangs, by the looks of it. Jim, we don't... Pointed teeth. It's what Greek Orthodox. <laughs> Jim, I know we have. I know we joked about having a lawyer. We really don't have a lawyer on the show. Like we don't have a lawyer. I'm just saying. All right. I like to stand on. So let's be nice, everybody. Let's just right. be nice. Okay. okay. So, um, so Tom, so Zig, uh, uh, Teddy, what are you going to do, sir? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at slightly dumbfounded. Like, okay, let's give it a fucking whirl. All so, right, cool. so I. Um, is this is the window open? Yeah, I'm gonna draw the first floor for you. So this is like if you can all cast your imaginations this away, because you're really gonna have to cast your imaginations this away. Um, this is essentially the, now the first floor of this building of the town hall. Um, this is where the boxes lead you to. So just here are the boxes underneath with the drain pipe, and there's like a very uh, useful ledge. Um, here. Oh, how very handy! How very handy. So it's almost like the like this. this it's a conical shape, the roof, and there's like a slight lip, uh, and this is the um, the window here, bum, 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 like that, which is open currently, because um, it's been used as an access point for the spiders. You, sir, are standing uh, just on this side of the, the ledge. Now the windows here, if you can look down into them, that's a terrible drawing, Neil. Oh, shocking. It's, it no, it's, go with it. it's, it's been a long time, folks. Okay, so that's the window there. And you can see, and these window, by the way, these windows that are open, they're not going to obstruct you getting into the window. You can just pull them straight around, okay? So they can go the whole way around this way, for instance. In fact, I should just draw them like that. Fuck it. Um, they're open all the way around. So you can easily just swing in to inside. Um, you can actually, what you see here is you do see some beams. You see at least one beam this way, going that way. This is the first floor. Very quiet all of a sudden when I'm drawing maps, isn't it? No jokes to be had. Mm -hmm. Wait for the rabbit. <laughs> Wait for the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I pulled out the fucking rabbit to get you out of the shit. I'm just saying that out loud. All right. So, <laughs> so, so. Guilty as charged. There you are, sir. So you're underneath it. So essentially, um, uh, he's above you now, uh, Tom, um, and he is below you, Pete. So that's where you, you, two, you two are. You sort of above each other, if that makes sense. Okay. You know, Ray, this is fucking madness, right? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's what I want. The accent's so fucking hungry. Fucking hell, mate. Fucking what the fuck am I supposed to do now? There you go. Rip right. your vocal cords apart, that's sir. That's exactly why it's going to work, my my little boy. <laughs> my, my, cheeky little, my cheeky little lad. Yeah, little that's, that's right. You still think he's a small my child, cheeky. not a half right? <laughs> It's really sweet. You've sort of adopted a, him as your son, and you're going to show him how to set fire to things. It's like bonding moment. <laughs> <laughs> the catch up. Yeah. Uh, if he's a mad bomber, bombs Daddy, tonight, baby. Well. All right. So you you hoik up. Oh, the, way the, whole, the whole plan at the moment is that you guys keep the bad guys busy by yeah. just having them ask you where are the morons repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, the morons are getting ready to set fire to the whole place. Yeah. Tom, you know I'm listening, right? That's inside it. it could... <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> this, master, this master might not hear us. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. So so you're basically going to try and keep them talking while they just pour oil on them and hope they don't notice oil being poured on them. And then Pour oil? Them. No, I'm dropping bombs, baby. Oh, okay. All right, cool. All right. So, There's no um, pouring happening here. So you two, you managed to hoit this thing up and you managed to get this now... Um, not approved by the stream channel Molotov cocktail, but it is a Molotov cocktail nonetheless. Um, and uh, yeah, you can now. I guess we're still, we're not really in combat rounds. So we're in narrative. So I'm going to spend a tiny bit longer on you two to work out what you're going to do because they've been chatting. You can hear them, in fact, saying, "For where is the buffoon?" Uh, as she spreads her arms, you can actually see a few of them down there. If I do this, we copy and paste them. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm just going to reduce them a little bit. Terrifying. Terrifying. So, yeah, so this is what you see. You see her here, her here, here. Um, oh, Jesus. I really should have prepared this for you. Stop helping, Jim. Ah. Uh, Thanks. Do. Uh, so, no, it's cool. No, I appreciate the help. It's just, it's really not going to help. Um, ah. Have I just crashed everything? <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. Okay, good. So, you see these two underneath you here. 
Um, it's so disproportionate, it's quite funny. Uh, yeah, these two at the doorway here. Um, this spider is advancing. There's like a little mini spider advancing and that's where Veronica is. Oh, uh, by the way, you now see that, and you can hear that, and you remember that this is Veronica class, which is supposed to be Sinterklaas's, um, Sinterklaas, Jesus, I keep doing it, Sinterklaas's wife. Um, and it, it just sort of blows your mind a little bit. You're very good at compartmentalizing, I remember, from last session. So how you deal with that information is up to you. But you suddenly realize that this is should she shouldn't be here. Um, and certainly she's surrounded by spiders and not, doesn't seem to be particularly bothered about it. So that's not good. Um, that's about it for you two. I think that's too much. Um, Tom, what are you going to do with your character lastly before we move on to the boys? Well, what is Ratty? Do, I've just passed the barrel up, right? Yeah, are you going to go up with him? Are you going to go around to the front to join the lads or what? Um, I'm, I'm, if I can climb up, I'll, I'll go up with him. I'll go up after the barrel. Okay. All right. <laughs> you going to ask the barrel for a hand? <laughs> Is it is it easy enough for me to get up there? Like it's not that yeah, high. It's is pretty it? easy. I think. It's pretty easy. Yeah, you can you can just okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so me, can... I'm joining Teddy up up looking down on this scene of spider nastiness. Okay. Cool. So you hold your. I'm going to say the spiders are being really well behaved. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> That's your takeaway from this moment: is the spiders are really well behaved. <laughs> Really well behaved. Like we've had several rounds of like um, Veronica saying, <coughs> "Where are the?" And none of the spiders have just gone fresh meat and tried to eat. Well, well they're, they're chewing on the old meat, maybe. They're, they're chewing on the yeah, the villages. Also, she's monologuing. Do you know what I mean? She's like in her thing. She's doing her thing. Having right? a Bond villain moment. Yeah, I mean, we, it'd be really <coughs> awful in a film if you listen to a bot and suddenly you hear this, <laughs> and a spider kept on attacking the person she's trying to talk to. She'd be like. <laughs> She was like, now let me reveal to you my secret plan. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please, can you just leave him alone before I tell him the secret plan? Stop then you chewing. Can kill him? Stop chewing him. <laughs> Cecil, stop chewing him, Cecil. It'd be really boring. It'd be a boring The good voice. guy down. <laughs> Put the good guy down. Stop chewing his legs. It'd be like that. So, um, so yeah. So, anyway, uh, that's what you see. You get up there. You sneak next to um, the thief. And you see. You also see another beam over here. Uh, like that, as they say in French. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea what I'm going to say. I'm really tired. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. All right, so back to our, our men in trouble, um, our two wayward uh, souls. Um, Steve, you have uh, initiative right now. This this giant spider is starting to sniff. It doesn't have nostrils, but you get the feeling it's sniffing. It's like <laughs> sniffing around him. And this other little one is starting to sniff. And these ones are... Uh, sorry, what was that, Steve? It's sting yeah. the air around us. Yeah, it's yeah. Like feeling the air around you. Uh, and these it's ones are now starting to get interested. This one's a two still cocooning. These goblins are now advancing as well. And these two, one of them has stopped and is now also... They all, they seem like they're getting ready. You're no animal behavioral specialist, but they do seem to be <laughs> more right. interested in you uh, than before. What are you going to do, Steve? Um, well, when I see it huffing great guffs of air through its spiracles I assume that it must be totally totally said that. and um, I'm gonna um, well can I can I see what the boys upstairs are doing can <clears> I see that they're, like, they're sort of like, um, <laughs> I think it's, their fingers to their lips saying shh you know we're about to drop fire on these you're gonna have to make right? an initial <laughs> test I think because you weren't aware okay. of any plan like there was right. no L plan before you started this whole thing you just no, wandered in there no. going hello <laughs> that's, that's probably the worst day. plan ever. Couldn't happen. Yeah, some dice over this side, okay. and I got a 34. I'm not really sure what I'm testing for. Was it initiative? Oh, initiative, sir. Uh, um, yes, 36. So that's just a success. All right, cool. So you uh, you do spot, in fact, the boys, um, both Ratigan and also Teddy Wheatpasture, um, up here at the top of the window with a barrel of what looks suspiciously okay. like kerosene. And it looks like they've made, manufactured it into a Molotov cocktail, not that we're advocating, advocating that kind of behavior on the show. Um, but yeah, so that's what you see, sir. What are you going to do? Yeah, that was a f sort of a free action ish. Uh, okay, we do well, advocate I'm... the murder of spiders, though, so that's okay. <laughs> Rachnoids, they're rachnoids. So. Uh, right, I'm going to stand up and sort of, if, if, if that's a sort of, in a sort of, a fairly not sort of hold up a hand and sort of, sort of stand up uh, and brush myself down. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to stall her again. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to say, um, uh, Frau Klaus, it's clear that you have the upper hand here, but before you kill me with your 
very well trained spiders. Could I just inquire? <laughs> Could I just inquire as to where you purchased that amazing sword? The workmanship is truly exquisite. I uh, I think I saw a piece like it. I was going to go on and on like that. Okay, um, make another you, you, have, you have like a kiss butt skill. Okay, so you can make another blather test, but it's going to be at minus 10 because you really failed the last one spectacularly. She's not really buying it. Yeah, so uh, I can't find my dice now. Okay, it's alright. I've lost my dice. I'm going to use these ones over here next to the red thing. So this is me rolling the dice. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, 74. No, uh, 47. Oh, that's a fail anyway. Okay, so she holds up a hand again and she goes, I grow tired of this. And I grow tired of you. And she, out of her hand, this fireball just erupts, and it just whizzes Whoa. its way straight towards your chest. Damn, that escalated quick. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so three turns of talking <laughs> crap. It escalated quickly. I mean, yeah. honestly, in, in her mind, not that you know this, she's thinking, why the fuck haven't these fools actually attacked? Like, this is insane what they're trying to do. All right, I'm so trying to. I was, all the time, I was trying to go her into using flammable things on us. That was that was my plan all along. <laughs> plan all along. Well, it's ah. worked. So. <laughs> it's actually, all right, those yeah. So this fireball just like leaps and bounds straight towards you. It sort of does one of those like kind of. I'm not a football expert fan or any by any stretch of the imagination, but what do they call it when they like do the funny thing where the football moves around and then curves around people? Curving the ball. Oh, banana know. shot. Kick it. Yeah, it's a banana yeah, shot. <laughs> yeah, right, fine. I really am not a football person. <laughs> I want to say fan, but that's that's. Wait, 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 wait! You played a footballer on TV. Are you we don't talk about that. Episode of my. I was young I and I needed the money. That, where you kicked that ball through a car window. From I a, may have I had so a touch impressive. on that ball that kicked through a car window. That's entirely true. Um, I'm not telling you how we did that <laughs> shot, by the way, but let's go with it. All right, so Fireball, fuck you. Fireball. <laughs> TV's not real? What are you saying? Oh my God, it hits D3 of you. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't have plan for that. Okay, so it's going to hit D3 of you <laughs> out of the two of you if right. it hit D3 of you. D, of okay. course, is a dice, so here's a D3. Is that a D3 of you one? <laughs> it's going to hit just, just, just Steve. So it smashes straight into just Steve. Just oh, Steve. Just Steve sounds like a talk John show. Terry knocked your eyeball out, didn't he? That was terrible. Focus. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm flashing <laughs> back to Dream Team again. Stop Googling my career <laughs> and focus on No, I'm not Googling. I remember watching it. Oh just my God, Neil's eyes Pete, you're out. not even it's in this like... fucking round. Will you please focus on what we're doing? We're grown men here, for God's sake. Okay, so this fireball. <laughs> Fuck you, John out. Terry. I knew I hated you for a <laughs> FYI, we have no lawyer, the therefore, tape. John Terry, we don't know you. We're sure you're a fantastic human being. Okay, moving back to what we're trying to do. This fireball nice. launches out and explodes all over Steve's chest. Uh, Steve, you're going to take I a... Whoa! Whoa! You're going to take a strength three hit with D10 damage? Holy fuck. What? Yeah, I know, right? So that is a strength... So that's a damage of six, minus your toughness, minus any armor you have on your chest. So I get to take armor off. Yeah, well. you get to take armor off and your toughness. So what's your toughness? Uh, my toughness is three, and I have a so shield and two. a point of chain. Oh, that's one. So, so you take one point of damage. So actually, you're pretty fucking badass. You get knocked back. I am a badass. Thank you. See, you're it was all part, all part of the plan. Um, <laughs> cool. We fireball by the evil sorcerer. She went, <laughs> yeah. I've drawn the sting out of her. Um, <laughs> so you're on five <laughs> wounds now, are you, sir? Is that five wounds or six wounds, then? Uh, I have six minus one equals five. There you go. So I'm going to help you by putting your counter, which you've forgotten about, down here, down to five. All right, cool. Yeah. So you're now on five wounds. Okay, but you take the hit. Like, it literally just smacks into you. And she just stands back, her hand still, like, smoking. She goes, hmm, impressive. And then she sort of starts doing <laughs> this kind of movement in it with her hand again and starts conjuring these kind of spectral lights in the air that start going glowing green and purple and start flashing out of her fingertips. Not a good sign. Not usually a good sign. Unless, of course, you're watching like one of those cool kids I'm shows. I'm having Google. some issues with the connection, I think. Are you diving out? No. No, you're okay. All right, so that's your go, sir. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, the giant spider starts launching its way towards uh, Bondo, uh, as does the mini spider, and the other ones start moving forward. The goblin, however, is still hanging back. So, uh, Bondo, you're now being attacked by a giant fuck-off arachnid. Sorry, Rachnid. We can't do a Rachnid scan anyway because they're spider like. So, are you not being attacked? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck it. I really regret making these chaotic creatures. I could have I chosen chaotic rabbits. 
It's just I said there were spiders to be done with it, babe. Yeah, you're right. You know, this is my yeah. fault. Yeah. <laughs> four thingy. I just couldn't draw eight legs. Could this you? is my <laughs> fault. Then. Sorry. Great big thingy. <laughs> okay. Right. So you're going to take, uh, it's got, uh, what is your initiative, by the way? Oh, terrible. 23, I believe. Okay, Hang on, I've got written down there somewhere. 23, yes, <clears throat> I'm a slow, slow thing. Okay, so um, this thing, let's pull it. Hang on a minute. One. Let me just have a moment to recognize that Jim has got his character sheet with him this week. Yes, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, so, so Jim, <laughs> so it, I guess as a reward, the giant spider misses you with its claw attack. Oh, sorry, it's like a fleshy claw attack. And, uh, and actually just and sort of barrels over you like this, like... <laughs> like that, and just misses you. Oh, nice drop underneath it. Why? It was a good hey. fucking noise. People liked it last time. Everyone in his ass, stop it when you do that. It's like, oh my god, my soul hurts, and things like yeah, that. Like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure they like it. Like is a strong word here. They enjoy it, they love it. They Sorry, love it. it. Oh, we didn't, so I'm being quoted at, actually, at the moment. Okay. So, um, the lesser spider... <laughs> I'm in the kind of a in the chat, yeah. You guys are a bunch of nightmares. I'm literally going to smite you so fucking hard to teach you a lesson. Okay, yeah, so bring it, you know, bring it. <laughs> all right, so, so nothing. All right, so the lesser spider, uh, Steve, actually tries to attack you, leaps at your face, but actually crit makes a critical fail. So it nice. leaps, but you manage to grab it in midair. It actually leaps into your hands like a puppy. It leaps into your hands, uh, right on. Literally, you can do what kind of whatever you want with this thing. So you get a free attack. Floor, um, like a I'm gonna look at it sternly and I'm gonna say. Do you want to come home with me? She, I'm a much better boss than she is. Oh, well, that's what you're going to do. Wow. I thought that was going to go to a really difficult territory, but actually, I guess that makes sense. You're trying to tame the spider. It. All right. I'm trying to tame the spider. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> no, I, I, not really. I'll just grab it by one of its ugly, hairy legs and wheel it round. And try, I'm going to try and hit the um, I'm trying to try and hit the spider queen with her own spider. Yeah, drop kick it out. <laughs> You're gonna drop kick it. Okay, cool. No, no, I'm just gonna grab it by the leg and use it as a weapon. I'm gonna try and hit her with her own spider. <laughs> okay, you're gonna, you're gonna throw her own spider. The irony is so palpable. You're gonna use her own spider as a weapon against it. Brilliant. That's right. Okay, so make a ballistic skill roll, I guess. It is critical. Well, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got any, I haven't got any weapons in my hand, so it's like Fair enough. sort of this the makes sense. best thing I can do. It's totally cool. It doesn't so, really so, make sense. so because it's right. a critical. Okay. Because it's a critical fail on the spiders on the rachnoids part, I'm gonna give you plus ten to your blizzard skill. What is your blizzard skill? And it's a strength, your strength hit if it hits. Oh, I missed. I, I rolled seventy-five, so oh, it's, okay. it's a, it's a it's right. whatever. Ooh. It just goes whizzing overhead. Making <laughs> 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 frisbee. I am gonna give it falling damage though, so um, I'm gonna give it a, be, a piece yeah. of falling damage. Um, fine, let's quickly. So if I double, so it's traveling. If a train, if a if a rachnoid leaves New Orleans. At Two o'clock in the afternoon, travels 44 miles. It's going to take five points of damage. All right, cool. Wow. Okay. So you actually throw this thing and it just goes <laughs> and splats against the wall and just goes. You know how, like, one of those things just like go down a window? Like, okay, I'm trying to do it on this window. I can't do it. Yeah. Something like that. It like goes squee all the way down the wall. It yeah. just splats on the wall and does that. It just and lands in, in a bloody pulp on the floor. Uh, Good to know that. Yeah. Well, um, all right, so one down. Uh, right. This, the screech in literally enrages all of the spiders, and en masse, they turn to you and start rushing at you. Uh, Veronica has now raised her arms and has just started to laugh. The goblins have taken up a, a way more structured uh, combatic stance, and they are now stepping forward with long spears. Uh, whereas the spiders are just purely rushing you. Uh, Tom and, uh, and Teddy. Hey. Ratty and Teddy, you see the spiders stop their, uh, their work and they're also now skittering over the top. There's three of them actually. In fact, I'm going to get rid of these ones because it's going to get real confusing. So there's now um, there's three of them that are now over the top and they're now rushing along the rafters like this. In fact, they're just over here at the moment. And so you'll have to work out where the rafters are on this one if that's okay. It's a bit complicated otherwise. Um, okay, so that's, that is uh, your, no, that's their round, I guess. So it's now your round. So Teddy, you have, you're now in combat. So everything is now very much six seconds of combat per round. Everybody gets to mm. move more or less in. Ah. Right. So make it count, um, Teddy. I'm Do now on the windowsill. 
I've, <laughs> shut up. I've, got, I've got the barrel and we have to drop it below us, right? And light it. So, uh, Say something cool first. Come on, get to say something. Oh, yeah. cool, please. I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to figure out how to do this without setting myself on fire. That's the See. important thing. Okay. Um, I've got cooking equipment, so I'm guessing I've got a flint and tinder in there now. Yeah, yeah, you totally got a flint and tinder, yeah. All adventure. I think yeah, most yeah, adventures, yeah. apart from Rattigan, he just wandered off his village one day and, and followed a squirrel into the wilderness. And everything can make back. fire, so it's cool. Yeah. Everybody else can has flint and tinder. Yeah. I have got some complimentary soaps, though. Can they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wash. <laughs> the hair you have like but more more complimentary yeah, soaps than the yeah, person yeah. should do, is I think the thing. I thought they were sweet. I was excited. <laughs> you think they were butter? They smell very good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're chewy. Okay, so um, how are you going to do this then, Pete? Walk me through it. Well, I'm, well, I'm getting out my flint and tinder and sparking and sparking and sparking, hopefully setting fire to the uh, the bit of rag that. Uh, that uh, Rally's put into it, okay. and once it's lit, yep. we're just gonna shove it as far as I can into the room. Are you gonna throw it into the room, like on top of them, kind of thing? Absolutely. Okay. Once well, it's lit. This is a high pressure situation, so you're gonna have to make a dex check. Uh, as you're using a, as you're using a flint and tinder, I'll give you plus twenty to your dex. This is dexterity, which is your ability to use your hands, basically. How nimble you are with your hands. Um, what is your Sadly, dexterity? Although, although I'm quite nimble. I'm not very dexterous. I'm only 33 with dexterity. 33. So it's 53 with the bonus because you're using flint and tin okay. to light it. Okay. I got dice. I am rolling the dice. <clears throat> and... Whoa, that was close. 56. Oh. Do you have um, luck? No, there's you no luck, luck for this half thing. Oh, so man. You, almost catch, you almost catch a flame, but it doesn't quite work. Um, however, you can keep trying. But you sort of go ch -ch 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 -ch. like <clears throat> if this was like one of those films which is a high pressure situation, somebody had to light the explosives or something. The camera would be slowly tracking in behind you and you'd be like, "Come on, uh, damn it! Come on, damn it! Come on, damn it!" And then eventually, like, because the a car's film, not starting, yeah, the car's not starting. To the come on, come on, like pumping the gas. The too spiders much. are getting closer. <clears throat> by the way, start banging on the windscreen. By the way, if anybody is actually caught in a zombie apocalypse and that happens to them when they turn the ignition and they pump the gas, all you're going to do is flood the engine. Just pull it uh. out. Just going to flood the engine. Not going to help. Never do that bit again, Neil. That was terrible. <laughs> okay, so moving forward. <laughs> what, do we, good, what do we do but... instead? What do we do instead? Just turn, I don't just know, man. I just thought it was funny. The handbrake it off, let it roll. <clears throat> let it roll. There you go. Let the zombies push you. <laughs> Always park on a hill. Okay, have a whole got, segment. Got it, got it. I'm having a really off night tonight, folks. I don't know why. <laughs> it's really not landing anywhere. Okay, so you are. You're, you start, I, I know. I, I, I think. I think the people want to know how to survive. I think right. I think that's. A, I think we should make that a bit in each episode. Moving forward, please. Um, so more zombies then. More zombies. So Rattigan, I think you're up next. No, Ziggy. Sorry, you Ziggy. You're up next, sir. You're being attacked. You've just thrown this little spider thing, which is gone. Um, the giant spider is okay. attacking. Okay. In that case, I will draw my. Sorry? Lost you there, Steve. Yeah, you yeah there, I think there. I'm having some connection issues. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can, can you hear you me. Back? Excellent. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my um, cavalry sabre and try and chop Veronica's head off. <laughs> it's quite specific, but okay, I'll allow it. All right, so you're going to charge into her and her two goblins as well. I mean, to be yeah, fair, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the head off the spider, as, uh, as the old expression goes, and then, and then the body will die. Pretty sure it's a snake, but okay, fair enough. Okay, so you charge into it. Um, it's, you got a charge bonus of plus ten. Uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah. Oh no, don't tell me. Steve, we're losing you, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I, I keep coming fading in and out. I might I might um I'll make I roll the dice and then I might go and come back in and see if that makes any difference. Yeah, you might um, want to use your, your your Discord on on phone, dude. That'll help. Okay, all right. Well, I'll um I'll roll it. Can I roll to attack her? Is that please do? And right, then roll so... for damage. Don't go anywhere. Roll for damage. You hit it. Forty. So that is a, a... Yeah. no. It's a miss. I've got thirty-five weapon skill. You've got plus so... ten for charging. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Lucky number of oh, six. Uh, so it's two plus five. So that's seven. Seven points of damage on Veronica. And uh, that is going to... She sort of... Uh, as you sort of charge, she'll have this 
had this rather contemptuous look on her face. And then you lift up your weapon and you sort of like bring it down quite quickly. And so it's not a deep cut, but it's a cut nonetheless. And she looks suddenly very startled. Um, weirdly, as your sword gets quite close to her body and it goes towards like her, uh, the shoulder, the right shoulder, you're, you're, it feels like your sword hits something like a wall of something and just suddenly slows and then carries on the motion. It's almost as if a little bit of the energy of your attack has been sapped away. And you actually hit her for not a huge amount of damage. Uh, but you definitely do like nick her in the shoulder. Um, so she sort of flinches yeah, back. She's tougher than she looks, yeah? <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Uh, okay, that's my go. <clears throat> okay, thanks. So next up is, I believe, Veronica. So she is now going to... Um, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's Veronica's go. You guys have terrible, terrible initiative. Uh, so Veronica's now going to have a go. Um, she's sort right. of, having stepped back, she looks at, um, at Steve and then decides to actually go mano a mano and, um, and makes an attack with her cool spider sword and just flicks her wrist and she manages to... Ooh, that's a miss. Wait, what, what is that? Oh, shit, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's an eight. Okay, so she misses you, so you manage to parry her blow. She darts her spider nice. sword in. You managed to catch it with the tip of your blade that was catching her shoulder and whip it away. Ha, you say good. How about good. you? How about you, yes. sure. Um, then her goblins then attack. Uh, ah. yeah, they definitely attack. <laughs> take, it, ah. take us through the journey of those. Take us through the journey of those has, please, Steve. It's, it's, yeah, it's just it's just a sort of a rock. It's just a roller coaster of emotion, really, over here. You know, the elation of, yeah. Yeah, that's Wait, all it is. It's it goes, just ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, so the, goblins, it'll be fine. The, the two goblins attack almost as one. Uh, one of them, you actually managed to like kind of elbow the, the shaft of one of the poles of the spears out the way on the left side. But the right, in doing so, the right one manages to get past your shield and hits you for... Do, 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 do. Um, please don't read critical. This will be really bad. Oh, well, sure, that's not good. Okay, eight points of damage. <laughs> can, I, um, can I parry? You or something can like parry that? with your I've second got, attack. I've got, I've got dodge blow actually as well. You've got I dodge do? blow. You can definitely dodge blow to. first. Yeah, dodge blow is dodge. your initiative. Wait a second. It's your initiative. If you roll your initiative mm -hmm. or under, you get to completely ignore all of the damage for that one roll. You can only do it once per round. It's a very useful skill. Okay, dodge Here blow. We go. Cool. I need a new pair of lungs. <laughs> <laughs> 54 is not going to cut it. Uh, is it? All right. Okay, can I carry as well? or is it like, is that like No, a you can't. Sir. It's okay. one or the Five, other, right. I'm afraid. So you, you can't do it. Eight points of damage. To the... Uh, um, that is the 52. That's a body hit, I believe. Okay, so that's three more wounds. Oh, actually. I've taken them. Well, that's not good. Two, down to three, it's, it's, it's a left arm, sorry, not a body. Oh, oh well, it's just a, I've got I've got a chain on my arm as well, so that's, that's fine. fine. Okay, so you, you so that's two two wounds. Okay, so you actually wounds kind of act a little bit like when the heroes in films and stuff get beaten up, they don't really sustain any serious damage until they get into zeros and minuses. So this is like them having near misses, little cuts and nicks, or being whacked but not really damaged so when you get to zero wounds you're really fucked so at the moment you're doing kind of okay but you're not great you're being pretty beaten up until <laughs> your first round of combat so um kudos but the fire will come soon that's fine yeah exactly all right so you sort of you basically get like whacked by the the sharp end uh, sorry the dull end of the spear like the 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 heft of the spear the sharp <laughs> spear like whacks yeah. you straight in your midriff and it's like Ugh! It really hurts. So you sort of stagger. Nice. Nice. Okay, these Shice. goblins actually step forward in front of Veronica, and then she's Sounds. now sort of out of the fight, but because they're now putting themselves in in, in her way, if that makes sense. Um, cool. Okay. So new. Uh, these things just moving forward. That's fine. So up to I guess it's now Ratigan's go, right? Ratigan. Yeah. Ratigan. It's on the list. <coughs> so. <laughs> I'm gonna climb out to where Steve is. Uh, to sorry, where um, Teddy is. You're gonna climb um, out here, I think. Yep. You see three spiders now climbing on the rafters above our heroes. Are they, they coming to us? Have they, no, have they, they noticed see, us? Not at all. They're pretty. Uh, considering how monstrous and how compoundy eye these are, although they don't have compound eyes in real life, Steve. <laughs> I know that spiders don't have compound eyes. These aren't spiders. Go fuck yourself. So these <laughs> these things haven't noticed you. They don't seem to be that aware of their surroundings like they're very controlled if that makes sense okay little hint there little hint there 
Um, right, so I'm going to climb out. So Rafi is going to climb out to um, where um, Teddy is with the barrel. Um, yep. And then I'm going to put my... Um, hold out my hand towards the rag and um, I summon up all my magical ability and uh, go, oh, set fire, you bastard. <laughs> um, and a little, a little is that how you cast spells? I love it. That is how I cast my spells. <laughs> Um, no, like arcane like magic or whisting like, magic, like, like mumbling, really moving hands. It's just like, fucking hell, you bastard. <laughs> really unfortunate. <laughs> um, and, um, and a flame should um, erupt from the palm of my hand and light yeah. the... Um, light the the rag indeed it does so this is magic flame you're casting doesn't need any ingredients costs you i believe one magic point not that i'm showing off that i know all the fucking spells in the rule book and you have to keep referring to yeah them yeah yeah five fucking weeks but just saying <laughs> that. okay i so, tell this tom <laughs> so this thing you're is a writer now... you can do that <laughs> okay. i'm learning I'm <laughs> so, <laughs> so this thing is now very much a flame so the top of the rag that's coming out of the barrel is definitely on fire this thing is actually burning pretty fucking quickly um and you sort of get the sense that you are going to have to chuck this thing almost immediately like you should chuck it kind of thing you can wait till next round but i'm just saying it looks like this thing is well i mean can, well. can i not just nod at teddy and then we both just drop it together yeah yeah we'll get a bit more sure of if we got shit right I'm going to give you a plus 10 to your own ballistic skill, Tom, as if, like, Teddy is helping you, but it's still going to be on your ballistic skill, buddy. Uh, but, but hang on a second. We are just dropping it, aren't we? Like, oh, I thought you were throwing um, it. If you drop it, it's just going well, to hit. I'm trying to throw it to the middle of the room, right? Yeah, just, you want to throw it, dude. If you look at here where okay. I'm drawing this yellow circle, that's where it'll drop to, whereas these people are all, like, in the middle. Do you want to throw it? Like, yeah, all right. We're going to... We're going to aim for. We want to aim for the, <laughs> basically for the for Veronica. Ideally, I yeah. would say, yeah, that would be that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So it's your blistered okay. skill. What is your blistered skill, Tom? It's thirty-eight. Oh no, sorry, thirty-four. Jesus Christ, you're a wizard, and it's thirty-four. Wow. Okay, it's pretty good. Yeah, but I'm also like I grew up in this like little farm village where I got you know picked on if I didn't learn how to. Throw, throw rocks flaming barrels throw. off like bridges and <laughs> whatever like fantasy peasants do i was doing it you know? <laughs> okay so um it's gonna be your blizzard skill which is 34 plus teddy's like okay. assistance which is 10 plus your you've got right. luck as well haven't you so that's pretty reasonable mm -hmm. you could be up to like 54 if you need okay. all right I am rolling. Well, it's, it's, it's dropping no matter what, isn't it? It's just where it's 39. dropping. 39. That is definitely a good success. Okay, so you managed to hook yeah. you two right over into the center, which is basically on top of Veronica. Um, it's sort of like... Hey, Veronica! It's doing oh, one of those moments. That's where it's that's like, like Australian there, didn't it? That was very Australian. So it's sort of like going... <laughs> it does that thing where it's like... It's sort of like time slows down for you two, and you just see this like barrel. Are you saying anything as it rolls around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, hey, Veronica! Call me H because your ass is about to turn to ash. I'm so sorry. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> your ass is about to turn to ash. Yes. Call me H because I'm about to turn your ass to ash. You have to walk, this through, walk me through on this one. Call me H. Because I'm about to turn ass to ash. It's, it's, really good. Good. it's a spelling joke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Think about it. I have thought about it, Tom. That's why I need just a second explanation. But it's okay. I'm going with it. Cool. Okay, so that's what you say. Ronnie just, just, did just. Did you somehow know that this moment was going to happen and work on that for about the last week? Yeah, well, not the last week, the last ten minutes, yes. Yeah, so, um, so Veronica turns and she hears you. And then and she, says, she hears you say this and gets incredibly confused <laughs> as, to which, as to whether it's funny or not. not. She gets it. She's got very high intelligence. She completely gets the joke, but she's confused as to whether she feels it's funny or not. Um, and this barrel just goes... And just hits her straight on. Uh, so we are, I'm going to say this is like a fireball spell. So it's good, except that it's a barrel. So it's going to hit, uh, let's say, 2d3 creatures. So you get to roll 2d3. 
And this is the blast radius, let's say it's here, because it's the barrel, ba -bum. So it's gonna hit all, potentially all six of them. So who's gonna roll for this, folks? It's gonna be oh, Tom, I guess, right? Tom, yeah, yeah, he threw it. Yeah. So you yeah, got yeah, two yeah. So two sixes, um, you get, so these two D... These two, you get? Yeah. So roll yeah. those two together, so. Okay. <laughs> the number of people it hits, so it's gonna hit uh, four people. So four you get, people. You get to pick the four people, I think that's fair. So obviously Veronica. <laughs> Sorry, was that Veronica? Yeah, Veronica. Um, Bondo. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck Bondo. <laughs> All right. If you can't pick quickly, I'll pick for you. It's just going to be easier that way. How about the giant, giant spider? Or... Yeah. Yeah, giant spider for sure. Yeah. Um, are the goblins around her? Yeah, the two goblins are either side here, which are facing off Steve, but Steve won't be yeah. caught. So these four, yeah? We're going to say it's going to erupt in yeah. this side here. All right, cool. Yeah. Uh, right. Groovy, groovy, groovy. Cool. So that's where it's going to erupt. So you're going to roll four dice, um, one at a time, if that makes it easier for me to catch up. So it's going okay. to be uh, one for the... So let's start with the goblins, why not? And it's going to be the more exciting things. So and there's giant two, there's gobos. It's one. D6, yeah? Uh, D6 and criticals are automatic. Hang on a second. You know one of those. You know those two D. Uh, did you mean to give me two D three when I rolled? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, that was deliberate. <laughs> okay. Because I'm. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm thinking ahead. All right. So who's going to start with? Who's going to do damage first? Um. So I'm rolling a D6 for this. Yeah. D6 yeah. for damage. I oh, sorry. No. 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 It's a. It's a fireball. So D10 actually. It's a fire. Yeah, baby. It's like it's the equivalent of a fire. Oh, is sweet. Yeah. Yes, right. mate. See? All right, I'm rolling for a goblin first. A goblin first, okay? We're going to go up through the ranks. Ooh, that's not great. Okay, that's full uh, <laughs> Don't boo me. It's not my fault. Flame, <laughs> flame retarded <laughs> goblin. So the yes. goblin yes. here, the, goblin, the, the barrel explodes, and each of them sort of have the, you know, the, the initial, the barrel explodes overhead and just erupts flame in a cascading flower of, uh, of, of danger um, and incineration. And the first goblin sort of reacts very quickly, sees this and sort of scampers to the left. He only takes one point of damage. Um, which will put him on, I guess, let's say this. Okay, uh, next, please, Tom. <coughs> dun, dun, dun. Six, that's nine Six. for the second goblin. Uh, whereas the second goblin pretty much gets coated in the stuff uh, and Ouch. literally is just is just evaporated in front of you guys. His, his flesh melts uh -huh. off. He just drops his weapons. He just starts screaming this awful... Yeah! <laughs> this is a is Sorry? someone blowing like someone I'm getting a weird sound effect like was that it sounded like someone blowing on a kazoo or something there for a second <laughs> I was trying to do the death down, 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 down. Down. <laughs> it's really insulting uh, <laughs> oh it was that alright that was it okay um, you know alright num right. <laughs> next roll next right. roll we're doing good we're doing good buddy right. so one of the goblins uh, is dying. He melted down. face melted Sorry. what was that oh uh. Two? Weeks or oh. uh, five. So the giant spider got 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 again. Managed to get out of the way, or, or yeah, yeah. That only did like one point of damage to the giant spider. So that's like all must fuck all. Yeah. Right. Um, that's, oh, that's, that's, right. Right. Yeah. that's that's not good. Right, here we go. This this, this is, is Veronica. This is Veronica though. For the win, yeah, murder Veronica. Yeah. No offense, Veronica, but you're gonna get murdered. Wow. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that giant <time> is loaded. <laughs> <laughs> really just... okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say that Veronica sort of she, she's about to say something like to oh, Steve's man. and she sees she turns and sees this barrel explode into a, into a, like this flower of flame and then she just does this oh, very very quick man. hand movement and this blue purple swirling green umbrella erupts out of her hand and just goes pop over the top of her head and all the fire bounces off apart from a little splattering hey. onto her hand but just splatters. Hey, off we her. killed the goblin at least. You killed a <laughs> goblin out of four people, nice given work. the fact you just basically erupted napalm on top of them. But yeah, so did the spider all... get on? Did I miss that? The spider didn't. We're going to do that one next. The spider did pretty well. No, we missed it. Yeah, you so missed it. Jim. Basically, the one shot that you had to turn the tide of this battle all kind of fucked up, Jim. So we need to know. It's not going. It's fine. Well. Go get another barrel and come back and do it again. It'd be fine. <laughs> Hang on. But isn't you know, one of the goblins on fire though? That's the bonus. No, one of the goblins is not taking burning damage. One of the goblins is gone. Melted. 
it's gone. One's gone. Yeah. The other one is he not in a, some way on fire? Not really. Mm. No. You've got like a cooking. No, oh, Jim. No, Jimmy. Yeah. It's hoping for burning, flat, burning clothing, goblin screaming, panicking, running around, setting fire to things. Yeah, so this is the So this is the umbrella that Veronica is holding up. This magical umbrella that's come out of her hand and is now like pouring liquid flame all around her, but it's not really damaging her apart from a tiny bit, basically. And she just stands there, just she starts cackling and laughing, and is now looking straight at Tom's character, Raskin. Steve, and chop her head off. Quick. <laughs> and she now she was distracted. She lifts up her hand and just points and go the buffoon like that. Um, that is your go. Tom no, thinks he's more of a moron, really. That is your go, Tom. <laughs> uh, it is now, lastly, Bondo's go. Bondo, you're toe to toe with a giant spider. This thing explodes near you. Uh, you don't know what's happening because you're really focused on the spider right now. But what are you going to do, sir? I'm going to try my signature move. Kneecap the dice roll, I'm dying. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's give this a go then. All right, it's two seconds. Just move this d6 out of the way, and I can roll my dice. All right, weapon skill of 42. Yep. I'm going to. Can I charge it as such, or did uh, he charge no, me? No, you're already in combat, sir. So you've got. Luck. Uh, okay, just you straight roll. Luck, yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. That's a it's hit. That's eight. a very good hit. Okay. It's a good hit. Yeah. D6. Right go. then, bad boy. Very nice. Five. Five. What's your strength? Strength of two. Jesus Christ. I know. Oh, hey, I'm only little. Okay, so that's seven. Five plus two is seven. Do you have anything like Strike Mighty Blow or anything like that? Uh, I do. I have luck. I have. Yes, have luck. dance you can, and heal wounds. Yeah. You can increase the damage by one with luck. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that's your luck done for the day. Okay, cool. So, you, yes, you can increase it by one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I said that out loud. That was supposed to be me, my internal voice. I, I have to roll that Inside again. Voice, it's, Neil. It's Inside a giveaway. Voice. Okay, I've rolled your luck again, so now you don't know what it is. Um, just for the folks at home. Whoops. Okay, so, <laughs> so you have increased, you can increase your damage by one if you wish to. So, that's eight, which is minus its toughness. Um, okay, so you, you hit it and you, you give it a good a good thwopping, um, and you manage to like cut quite deep into one of its fleshy legs, and it sort of <laughs> rears back at you. But it doesn't obviously it's not dead, but it does rear back at you, and it's, it's in pretty much in pain. Um, that was this one here. Okay, cool. So okay, a uh, new round, I believe. Oh no, sorry, it's the giant spiders and the other spiders round now. Nah, they so, don't need to go. And they do need to go. All right, so they need to go really badly. Like they, they told you they didn't need to go the last stop, but now you've hit the new petrol station. They really need to go. All right, so you're hitting you. Uh, what well, the first one misses, second one attacking misses, and the goblin attacking Steve also misses. Okay, new round. Uh, hey. Mr. Wheat past. Well, I, I, I was I was hoping the whole place was going to explode. <coughs> would just run away chortling, but now we've got to it actually really do something else. <laughs> this is one of those moments where life really like just really <laughs> tells you a lot. Disappointed. Really disappoints you, man. By the way, these three small spiders have all noticed you, and I just fo well, in fact they've noticed Ratigan and just focused on Ratigan and just like streaming towards him. I'm gonna take a pot shot at one and say, you know, fuck it, get the fuck out of here. Okay, cool. And just take one out, hopefully. Sling okay. shot. Okay. Some dice. Some dice. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate that. Oh, you're most welcome. Ooh, 42. No. Is that missed? That? Missed by five. By five. Uh, do you have luck? You haven't got luck, have you? Okay. No, you I'm, not a, I'm not a lucky person. Okay, you're not very good under pressure. You fire and the bolt just goes a little bit wide and doesn't do any damage. It's like a that. stone. Not a bolt, but close. Well, yeah, a little stone. Yeah. Um, okay, next round. Far, firing bolts at a shot would be weird. <laughs> okay, next round is... Um, can you please make an intelligence test, uh, Teddy? <coughs> Teddy is not very intelligent, but still passed. Still pass. Okay. You suddenly remember there's something that in your pack that you forgot that you picked up in the chapel. These two weird looking funky scroll things. And you realize yeah, yeah. that you haven't, you, there's something about them that sort of is like a, a big question mark in your head. It just pops into your head. Having seen this thing explode in front of you, you don't know why, but you think somehow that's relevant. Um, it is now Ziggy's go. Zygmunt. <laughs> yes. When being attacked by spiders, 
go and read the scrolls that you can't actually read. No, but I'm just saying it pops back into your head. One of those weird things, like you're thinking about, like you're like doing some work and you suddenly start thinking about jam sandwiches and you don't know why. I was thinking you were setting fire to them and things. Yeah, throw them, throw them at Veronica, set fire to the scrolls and throw them at Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Ziggy, it's your go. So. It's one of those sort of thought bubbles appearing above Tenny's head. Um, <laughs> all right, okay, good. I'm going to. I think I'm just I'm just going to press my disadvantage if that's an expression. Totally. And uh, it's more uh, like a motto. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a more way mantra. of life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna chop uh, chop at Veronica. Okay. Um, okay. Right. So I've got my dice over here. I'm gonna roll my weapon skill and get twenty six, which is awesome. Oh, that's good. So, twenty six. Oh, and a six. Excellent. Where, I'm over here. You just don't trust me. Look, I'm over there here. Go. Okay, Look. six. So now you... No, I'm just showing the folks <laughs> at home watching. So now you have yeah, to yeah. roll a, your weapon we skill again. That. You have to roll this again. Yep. And then if you yep. get under your weapon skill again, then you just keep rolling your dice if you keep getting sixes. Okay, here we go. You're attacking Black. a goblin, right? That's... No, Veronica. 15. Veronica. Oh, shit. Yeah. Really, Veronica? But she's my... Okay, fine. So that's 15. Okay, six. So roll a six again. Two, so that's eight plus your strength. Eight, 13. Fucking hell, really? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was not prepared for that. Okay, so you've hit her for 13. Yeah! Plus one. Right in there. Fuck I don't me. know. Okay, <laughs> so. Right so, in her weird long arms. So tell me. Take how, that. <laughs> so you charge, you charge in under her umbrella. Um, tell me how you attack her, please. Um, I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just going to try to lop her arm off at the elbow, her weird gangly arm. <laughs> okay, so you try and lop her arm at uh, the elbow. You're not too got very long arms. I want to say that you're being very long armist right now, um, Steve. I've got nothing against long arm people who don't try and kill me with their spider army. I mean, to be fair, she started it. Yeah, <laughs> she did start it. That's fair enough. Okay, so you basically, you lop one of her arms off. You just like that, and you just, your sword swings down, and you lop her off at the elbow, and she just staggers back. Into... Does she drop her amazing spider sword? She does. It's actually holding the amazing spider sword. And she just staggers back and she screams. And as she does so, she sort of stares at the stump of her arm. And then she looks behind her. And these two spiders sort of rush in front of her. Uh, even One of them even steps into the flame and takes a little bit of damage. But she then looks behind <laughs> her, throws her hand out. And this very fast incantation blows the, the end of the town hall completely out. And she starts like kind of like stumbling and staggering her way back this way, uh, towards yeah. the back, as these spiders start like menacing towards you. But and her little spider swordy thing is <laughs> over. <laughs> you know what? If I really prepared this, I could sound so much more eloquent. <laughs> so her spider sword is like behind these two spiders. Uh, just amazing. All right, cool. But yeah, she is now legging it. I did, but that's, that was not fair, Steve. I had a lot more like mileage for the story. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes, I'm your second attack. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, I've got my second attack. In a minute. I'm You're going, like a really I'm dangerous seventeen-year-old. I'm, I'm doing a sort of a WWE moment. I'm looking. I'm looking at Veronica and I'm pointing at her, sort of, and sort of <laughs> arch the eyebrow, yeah, rock you. style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. WWE fantasies are coming to life. Okay, so Ratty, it is now your turn, yeah. sir. Um, these spiders are definitely interested. So in you. Got... Are they, when you say they're interested, are they just like looking at me and going, no, they're not swiping or are right. they? <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to think if I don't want to, I'm not going to use the same move. Or I, um, how is it, is it possible for, for us to jump down? Into, into yeah, it's the, only one story. You can f you can jump, not fall. So what we say, yeah, like, grab the spiders and power bomb them. Let's just do some more WWE moves. <laughs> Don't yeah. do a WWE move. I, 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 a table, I urge, a I beg you to do a <laughs> like folding chair in there somewhere. Yeah, I, you know what? I will allow I will allow Bondo to grab a pew or a chair, throw it roughly yeah. where that'll land, just so you can do a chair table smash. That would oh, be fucking so excellent. Brilliant. I'm going to totally allow it. <laughs> okay. Somehow make that work, please, I beg you. <laughs> okay. I was, Pete's idea was more that I grab hold of one of the spiders that are up with us and yeah. kind of like slam Surfing. it down. It the <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Pile drive, it's bad. You know. Pile drive, <laughs> which I'm into, frankly. I'm into <laughs> I um, try it, dude. Do it. Narr- narrative <laughs> violence is cool fun. Narrative violence is more, the most dangerous violence of all. You know that. Right, so you can you can try. You can just Dang rush it, down I... the, the rafter and grab a spider and just try and land on a furniture piece of furniture if you want. You can do that. Or land on Veronica. If, yeah, if, if I bad. screw it up, if I screw it up, the spider lands on me, which is the pro- problem. So. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Yeah, you only yeah. live once. Yeah, hey, you only live as many. Go, Tom, he's our man. If he can't do it, well, we'll just carry on with the story. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's see how we go. <laughs> let's see how we go. <laughs> this is the image of all of you trying. <laughs> Some image of all of you trying wrestling moves one by one just dying <laughs> until you run out of players and my elbow and land on the cobblestones yeah because because we're not wrestlers firstly that's the first mistake <laughs> we're making and secondly we're trying to wrestle giant spiders you know these are two big ratnoids if it didn't stop us if it didn't stop our 16-year-old selves from trying wrestling moves and our younger siblings, it's not going to stop you, my friend. Let's do it. <laughs> Point. Come on. What do I have to roll? What do you have to lose? What am oh. I rolling? <laughs> um, it's going to what do be I have a... to roll? Yeah, it's a grapple test. So it's your weapon skill averaged with your strength. So whatever your strength is, what's your strength? Right, my strength is 4, so 40. That's 40 is percentile. So your weapon skill? Yeah. So 38 is my weapon skill. So, so let's it's say part, 30, uh, 37, right? Something like that. Rounding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? We're going to average think. 38 and 40 and get 37. Is that what Ooh, you Is it 39? <laughs> I don't know. Is it 39? <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm just pulling numbers up my ass. <laughs> 39. 39. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is a secondary school maths teacher putting a shotgun in there. <laughs> <laughs> 39. Forty-four. With uh, luck, you'll lucky, pass. Luck. You got to luck what? that one. Yeah, your luck is holding. So yeah, you've got luck. You yeah. can use it with luck. So you're lucky. So you rush. Is it lucky that you tried to pile drive that spider? Phew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you, you rush the spider with no thought of any kind of logic behind it. You just decide to do it. You grab the spider. You leap off the rafter with it. <laughs> this with the rachnoid upturned in between your legs so the head of the rachnoid is underneath your bum basically and you just like squat on top of this like this rachnoid and start driving it down with the sheer force of terminal velocity into a table that's handily underneath you on the floor below yeah why am i allowing terminal velocity this? in 10 foot impressive yeah, it's fucking great. This is how good this is. This is my in- entrance. <laughs> so you grab, so you That's the how you make an entrance. That's how you make an entrance. So you and the spider are like twirling around in the air. Woohoo, woohoo, like this. And you just land straight on this table. Um, okay, I'm going to make... get like a big polystyrene hat you know, with one of those fingers that points up and go, woo! <laughs> okay. So, Tom, you're going to roll. You're going to add your strength, but then you're going to. How the fuck am I going to do this? Okay. Just I'm, say it's dead now. Just say it's dead. Don't worry. I don't want to. I don't want to say it's just dead. That would not. This spider's been through a lot of emotional <laughs> trauma right now. Aww. Okay, so roll a d10, not a d6, because to include falling damage, I guess, and that's going to be your strike. And tell me. Oh, he only rolls ones when he rolls the d10. <laughs> Man, that was a really unlucky set of rolls, and I'm <laughs> I suspect this, these um, electronic dice are loaded. Um, hang on, I'm just going to choose okay. one. I'm just yeah, choose one. Just choose one, dude. That's ten. That's ten. Are these two locked together somehow? You're just, you're Are they locked together? together? They both roll ten. Let's go with ten. That's a ten, man. That's a ten. All right, so you just power drive. Yeah, you power drive this rachnoid through a table, which is pretty fucking awesome. Through a table. Through a table, and you just squish the living shit. Out. You break the table as well, um, and uh, and you make an entrance. It's so, it's so startling um, that the goblin who is sort of like in front of you now uh, gets distracted and now has a disadvantage against it uh, against uh, Steve and is now very distracted by this huge concoffing crash that's happened behind you um, that's how good that oh, by the way my line my line which I throw at Veronica as I land pile driving the spider through the table <laughs> and landing, like landing on top of 
landing on top of it as well. So basically, both feet go through it. Um, <laughs> okay. I stand. I stare at Veronica and go, "Who's the moron now, eh?" <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, <laughs> spider to its death. <laughs> you sure showed her. Cool. So, um, that's your go, sir. Um, I guess Jim top that. <laughs> it's really can difficult. I even try? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's can like I going after even a, try? It's like going after um, a, like an A-list like comedian and you're just like on the on the circuit new and you're like oh fuck <laughs> people from the north they're yeah. like this yeah sure. um <laughs> okay right <laughs> don't really know what to add to this situation apart from i'm obviously going to have to try and kill the spider yeah um Dude, don't don't freak out at me right now, okay? It's two dice, you roll them, weapon skill. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do the, the I can hear your the brain like dicey thing. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Right, here we go. Yeah, you could smell the burning Oh that's a critical hit, dude. You just topped it. You got a critical hit. Fuck me. Right, okay. Okay, so critical hit folks is zero one to zero five. Which is a success no matter what the modifier. It's basically like a one in a million shot, like the Star Wars ending of episode well, it's four, one in right? 20. Yeah. Dude, don't ruin this. <laughs> okay. It's a one in a million shot, kid, and let's blow this joint and get out of here. What the fuck Han Solo says? That's what it is. So what happens yeah. is on damage rolls, you get 2d6. And if either of them are d6, sorry, a six, then you get to carry on rolling criticals. It's basically you can just kill somebody in one shot. So it's pretty fucking awesome. Wait. Um, so we're up. Roll your dice. So that's two, three, five, plus your strength of two. And that's Seven. really low. I, I actually, it's been terrible. That was a terrible roll. Yeah, but I got two dice instead of one, so it's better than the poking the eye with the chopstick. I guess so. Um, so seven points of damage, right, to this giant spider. Anything else that I need to know about, or is that all you want? Um, I increase it with luck and have a go. Um, your luck does not hold, sir. You are out of luck for the day, I'm afraid. Kid. Sorry about that. Um, okay, then, so well, there's seven points of damage, and I've already had a crack at his leg already, so... Yeah, did you know, how, many points, how many points of damage did you do last time? I can't remember which, which spider this was. Was, I worked out as like seven or something, yeah, but then obviously right. whatever his toughness is. Yeah, I know which one it is. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you, you basically, you you are definitely winning against the spider. You're beating it back. Um, and it is de definitely, you're still hitting the same leg. And there's a huge cut in this leg now. Mm. And this thing is starting to visibly move away from you. Um, and it's, it fears you. It fears you, Bondo. Um, which for a short man is, is a wonderful experience, I guess. Exactly so. Yes. And your blood is up, so you can now press the attack, so you get advantage against the giant spider. Um, the spider's round. It's now the spider's go. So you've got one, two. These things are now attacking. Two, three. The fourth one coming round. This one coming over here. And this one is now... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this one actually is now scampering off this way. And then, Teddy, you've got two advance on death. Ah. Yeah, I know, right? That's a shot. So, um, first one, da -da 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 -da, giant spider. Nope. Nope. Oi vey. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a giveaway, really, wasn't it? Oh my god, I'm worse than you lot, Jesus Christ. Alright, so, okay, so all of you, um, all of the attacks happen. However, with Veronica now um, essentially fleeing for her life, her arm cut off and her screaming in agony, the spiders have lost um, cohesion. So they don't seem to be moving with the same kind of like discipline and well structure that they had before. They're kind of reverting to their animal states in some ways. Uh, Veronica has now left the building, has crawled through this huge <coughs> area she blasted through, um, and the spiders are now sort of like reverting very much to animal intelligence and skittering around and, and sort of unsure of themselves and not really attacking with any great focus. Now, a new round, so Ziggy, uh, sorry, Teddy, you're back up again. Can I have my, se I have my second attack? Is oh, that's right, you have a second attack. Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Um, I just, can I um, sort of with a sort of a last gasp effort try and... Hurl a dagger at retreating Veronica's back mm. as she flees, or has she gone too far? You can cross if you want. Have you got one of those? You got your hand crossbow. I've got two. 
I've got two crossbows, apparently. Somebody told me. <laughs> but one's on the back of your hand. One's an arm wristed, an arm mounted crossbow. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Would be nice. Thank you. Well, nice. thank you, I got it. Yeah. Um, nice. Right. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll I'll do my um, yeah. I'll do my hand crossbow because that's that's well cooler than I'd normally have. Right. Okay. I'm going to roll some dice. I've got a ballistics of thirty. So here we go. Right. Lucky, lucky sixty-two. No, no. that misses. Okay. So you fire your wrist mounted crossbow, which you have to obviously have to reload again, but it, you've um, you fired it off. <laughs> And it just sort of pings off um, uh, a wood frame as Veronica sort of ducks out from this hole with one of the spiders in her in her in her way. Curse you, Veronica! <laughs> Can we do that a little a twenty percent more German? Curse yeah. you, Veronica! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That was just high pitched. <laughs> That's what I want. But that's okay. It made the yeah. made twenty percent. <laughs> I, I made a mistake of having a character with an accent. I, no, uh, I know. We're, we're, we're all idiots, aren't we? <laughs> Steve, I'm with you. I'm with you every step of this journey of your okay. terrible German accent. I have an equally bad German accent. I'm with you. I love you. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you're you're, prof you're professional, Neil. We're not. Bear that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, well, I'm a professional, just not a professional voice coach. I don't know a voice coach. You don't know what I do. Fuck you. You don't know what I do. <laughs> you have no idea what I do for a living, Steve. Neil, I know exactly. Wears a suit with baubles on. Is a Christmas decoration. <laughs> <laughs> You're an Instagram legend. That's what you do. You know what, Jim? You know what, Jim? That's that's our term for ourselves. Fuck you. We're Christmas trees. You can't, you can't call us nerf herder. Only other nerf herders call each other nerf herder. Dude, you can't say that. I'm a Christmas tree. You can't tell me I'm a Christmas tree, even though I wear essentially Christmas tree lights all over. Fuck you, Jim. Wow. Hey. <laughs> His parents spent a lot of money to take him to Christmas tree school, you know? Yeah, true. <laughs> Be fair. It's true. If you shoot a mocap suit with a, um, a flash, you look like a Christmas tree. But you can't tell us that, dude. Only people that do mocap can say that about themselves. Fuck you, Jim. All right. Can you imagine the size of the suit that I had to get me in? Jesus. It looks fucking... It would be a Christmas tree. Totally, you totally look like a Christmas tree. It's fucking brilliant. Um, anyway, digressing quite a lot. That's not why I do. I'm a fucking actor. I went to fucking. I trained. <laughs> I didn't say you were a voice coach. I just said I'm not a voice coach. Can we please get back to the game? This is getting really. Rough every <laughs> <round>. <laughs> You're making the benevolent god sad. Be yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm really sad. Yeah. 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 sad gods get angry gods. Oh. Okay, so all right. Oh. Ruffle, yeah. ruffle gods. Oh, yeah, yeah, ruffle gods. All right, so. Oh my god, where were we? Okay, so Teddy, you've. Uh, Teddy, it's your turn, I believe, right? Yeah, I've got two spiders coming at me. Right? You've got two spiders coming upset. at you. Yeah. Then I am also going to jump down out of their way. With you. Sorry? You're going to jump down? With you. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm going to try and copy Ratty. That's a great idea. Let's do that. Oh my god, this is going to go <laughs> so bad. Well, okay. <laughs> this is going to go so bad. Right. He, he weighs he weighs about ten times as much as you do, though. <laughs> Daniel, listen, yeah, why? I'm literally three times the size of you. But but go off. Oh, that's that's <laughs> oh, 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 Daddy doll. I know it's not. Okay. But I kind of want to say that's a critical failure. <laughs> <laughs> go for your life. We want we want, we want what Teddy is, to live. What in, yeah. We did just fails really to like grab the spider. Ninety-five to hundred-ish, right? Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, so you sort of you, you do this thing where you jump and you try to dive, catch this thing because you've got this great idea about putting it into like a headlock and then doing one of those like bronco busters on it in midair, and the spider just <laughs> skitters to the right, and you just keep diving and you basically dive through <laughs> where the spider was. So they're just diving head first straight to the floor. <laughs> You're gonna have a you're gonna have falling damage, I'm afraid, my friend. It's one oh. story, so that's about eight yards. Yeah. Um, that's about sorry, eight yards? five four yards. Yards. <laughs> four yards. So that's eight <laughs> minus d6 is the amount of damage, irrespective of toughness or armor. You're basically diving headfirst into mud earth ground. <laughs> 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 Sorry, man. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can I, I love you. Can I, try I love you. Can I try and can I try and move a pew to break his fall? <laughs> really hard. Break his back. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in combat with three with three different types of enemy, and you're gonna try and kick something in the middle of all that. You really are yeah, very cool. Some, right. Something squishy, please. Okay. Something squishy. You can make. You I'll can try and kick a dead okay. spider. 
All right, Steve, <laughs> you're going to do a, a Jackie Chan thing, but you're going to lose one of your next round of attacks. Uh, okay, it's worth it if Teddy dies right. more amusingly. You find it like a stool <laughs> or a pew. Nice. <laughs> nice, it, Steve. You find like a yeah. stool or a pew that you're going to kick, and it's going to do one of those Jackie Chan cool no, no, fucking I'm... slide things across I, the room. It's a, it's, instead of a pew, can I kind of pick a sort of a cooked goblin corpse because that's about the softest thing that's nearby um, so you sort of land in sort of a is it going to give like, the slide ability as a barrel though is it going to slide well? i don't know it's, it's up to you uh, but i just I'm trying to think of something relatively soft that i could kick in his way i'd rather go um, for funny than soft funny <laughs> right i'm rolling some dice i don't know what i'm rolling for but i got 80 so that'll be a miss anyway <laughs> just a total fucking miss sorry dude yeah. so you lose an attack you just kick a corpse <laughs> just kick a corpse at you yeah sorry dude there's nowhere it sounds awful <laughs> it, it farts moves nowhere wait wait wait, that, wait, wait, wait that single on. act that, that was that was the single greatest act of friendship you've ever experienced <laughs> kick a corpse vaguely in your direction so, 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 Teddy, 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 <laughs> stay with me, Teddy. So, Teddy, as you dive, which is now looking very much like a front dive head first, you see underneath you um, the fucking human. Um, the fucking human. That's so racist. <laughs> looks, looks up at you and sees you and then just kicks this fried goblin really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes, and it's like you realize that the goblin, because everything's moving really slowly for you, you've got like alacrity right now, and you realize the goblin is mostly dead, but not quite dead, and the goblin just goes, mm, like that. And then the Steve gives you this little wink, as if to say, yeah, <laughs> and he goes back to attacking. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and he goes back to attacking whatever the fuck he's doing. And you're still, you're still diving towards the floor at great alacrity. Um, so it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, oh my god I'm crying with laughter I can't see the are you screen. rolling or am I rolling or am I just you are rolling it's, it's, like eight, it's eight minus d6 and that's how many wounds you're gonna take irrespective of damage or toughness five yeah. wounds five six. wounds what are you on now sir Where are you? minus one you're on a minus uh -oh. one critical yeah. okay <laughs> so oh my god all right so take these two d two two dice and now yeah. you're gonna maybe in the morning you're gonna roll them and you want low, dude. You want low. 72 is not oh, good, my that was a... This is a critical hit to your head. You want me to read it out? On my head? Why is it on my head? Because you're diving head first, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. <wow. laughs> Boom. This is a head first. I mean, basically, you just tried to, you tried to do something really cool and utterly fair. You're like it. You're a beta, let's face it. You're not really an alpha hero. You're a beta hero. The alpha hero did something cool. You try to copy it. This is what happens. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm, I'm more of a face than a sidekick. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I actually can't find the critical table, so I'm going to just go with it and just use my imagination. Why not? Okay. So, um, I think it's, in the, it's, in, it's in the combat section, I think. Yeah, it's in the combat section. That was the sound of your head hitting the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally just head straight into it. And actually, in this universe, your head touches down and cracks sharply back backwards. Your jaw uh, breaks instantly. Uh. Your neck snaps it so sharply that it severs all your spinal cord at the, at the base what, of your what, neck. What? On a minus one critical? You're killing yeah, you rolled a 71 on a minus one critical. That's death. Basically, what? yeah, yeah. The way it, I'm going to show you how this works. What the fuck just happened, man? I'm going to show you how this works, dude. So um, here really is a critical table. Harder now. Here is critical. It's minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on and so forth. Right, going this way. Here is zero, one to a hundred. Okay, and these numbers like one or two, three, and so on and so forth, they all relate to this correlation between percentile and the minus that you're on and the higher the percentile the worse it gets no 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 i get that i just think you're it's, it's painful <laughs> so, i demand a recap yes yeah, uh, hang on to kill you he got 11 on his head yeah and 11 critical on his head no minus one critical rolling 72. yeah that's 11 which is i don't know different it's pretty bad it? what's what's 11 uh, do you want me to read it, or did you? I don't know. Or read did it. you I haven't got, do something? I haven't got the book. So yeah, what's the seventy-two in the head for minus one? 
your opponent is severely concussed, or you are severely concussed, and may do nothing for 10 hours or until medical attention is obtained. Additionally, your opponent must test against toughness or lose 10 points from each percentage characteristic as a result of lasting brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm offering you, Pete, is a mercy killing, so you have to spend a fake point. <laughs> A fake point or brain damage. Yeah, well, basically, right? Brain damage, wow. brain. You can take the brain damage, dude. I'm cool with that. I'm your friend. I'll stand by any choice you make. Whatever life choice you want to make, including brain damage, is cool with me. What percentage of the party has some sort of head trauma now, then? Is that... Is it just That's me? 50% then, yeah. 50% okay. of us have got some kind of head case injury. Then the fake point it is, I'm afraid. Yeah, there you go. So a fate point has been spent. I feel we should have had some like... So a fate point, okay. folks, if I haven't mentioned that before, which I think I have. Fate points are the kind of Indiana Jones moments where the ball is about to squish him against the wall and he just makes the ledge at the last minute. Fate points are like your extra lives. Your one player up. Um, how does it work? One player up. <laughs> I've really fucked this up. One up. One up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one up. There you go. So it's like your extra lives, right? Um, and each person has fate. You can gain fate by doing really heroic things, and you lose fate by these things, like these terrible situations that will kill you that you manage to get out of the last minute. So in this case, um, having spent a fate point, Teddy, who is flying headfirst through the air, actually manages to land on the corpse of the goblin that um steve kicked which looked like steve was indicating for where to him to land or some shit like that <laughs> this is pulling it out of my ass so he manages to land like on it he, he gives a, a mighty <coughs> and he gets winded um so he's gonna lose his next round however he didn't die whereas in the universe where he didn't spend the fake point he got brain damage so that's how it kind of works <laughs> Hey, 50% chance of getting brain damage. Let's, let's Dude, see. you know what your odds are like. Come on, this is the party. You guys are fucked. So let's just it's take fate points. <laughs> so how many fate points uh, are you on now? Um, I now have one fate point left. I'm going to give you a badge in real life. I'm not going to see you for a while. You live in Australia, for fuck's sake. But I'll send you something like, you know, a fate point. That's what they're... The, the fate points are there to be spent. That's what they're there for, okay? So well done. It's, it's, <laughs> they're there to be spent until you run out. Yeah, how many fake yeah. points do you have again? I've got one left. You got one left. Good luck with that, sir. Okay, so you <laughs> one fake point. The, the first time I've taken any damage by fake point. Uh, I know, right? Gosh. You're right. You know what? I look back on your career. You're right to be a coward. You should be a coward <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Don't ever do anything heroic. That's what. Look what happens. <laughs> Just to be heroic, you get lose a fate point. Fuck that, right? If you're not if you're not a dwarf in this world, do yeah, to death. fuck that, right? It's a grim world sure. adventure, unless you're a dwarf. <laughs> I'm like, like it, dwarf. <laughs> 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 okay, so right. Okay, so um, who I've lost everything. So where are we on? Um, we are now, so Veronica has now disappeared. Veronica has now disappeared out of the camp of, of the town hall. Sorry, um, we're so now. It's your go now. Isn't my it? go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's my go to have an attack on this. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to try and um, uh, just attack the spider in front of me. The medium with spider. My, yeah. The, <laughs> you're like one of those guys at the drive. Is that a medium spider? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, 90, 90, 92. Uh, so that's a fail. I failed to hit the medium spider. Okay. Mm, that's your first attack. I have your second attack comes later in the round. Do I, do I get my second attack? I thought kicking the goblin constituted. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't. You only have one attack. attack this round. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ratigan, it's now your go. That was that was effort well spent. Yeah. That was effort well spent. <laughs> that was a try. Mm. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Ratigan, you're on the ground having destroyed the spider, sir. And you're surrounded. You look. Um, you yeah. also see what you currently see. You see um, the halfling sort of floating over you. The first thought that occurs to you is you didn't know he was a wizard, and he just lands on top of this corpse over here. Uh, he looks like he was flying. It was very cool. <laughs> I was um, flying. Veronica is fleeing, right? Mm -hmm. Where is she? I can't see her. Mm. Fled. You can't her. see him. So oh, I, she, she I'm eating corn on the cob. It's really and hummus. It's really bad manners. I realise I should be GMing you better, but I got yeah, hungry. Yeah, very um, enough for everyone to share now. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, so Veronica has fled with, with a couple of the spiders. You can't see her anywhere. But there's a big, massive, huge okay. hole that she's blasted with a smash spell out the back of the hut. Okay. 
So the nearest threat to me is the spider here. This guy here. There's a giant spider attacking Bondo, and a goblin stood next to it. Those are your sort of immediate threats. But at the moment, you're turning and the side this battle. The goblin sort of bricked it because it saw me um, squish the spider, didn't it? <clears throat> a little bit, yeah. Right, I'm going to charge the goblin uh, with my tree branch um, oh, yeah. that I use as a staff slash. Um, um, cool. uh, so I'm That's swinging right. for it. Yeah. Okay, so it's a weapon skill roll. Yeah, cool. Uh, where are the D10s? I don't know where they are. Oh, I'm going to roll these two. You, can you... All right, here we go. All right. Boom! What's the score? What's the score? What's 54. the score? That's a miss. 54. That is a miss. Uh. Boom! But not a terrible miss. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Keep rubbing it in. I, can't, I think it, it's, it's one of those things that a miss is a miss is a miss. It's not like whether it's close or wide, unless you get critical, I guess. A miss is bad. Like you don't want to be some, missing some, it. some misses end up with you losing a fate point. Exactly, yeah. Some misses yeah, end up with you losing a fate point. I feel I should have taken two from him, but you know. All right, so um, <laughs> why? 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 What? I'm not sure why I said that. That was just weird. Okay, so Steve, and then wait, where are we at? So the Ratican, it's the Goblin's turn, yes. Yeah, yeah I think it not? was. It's the en enemies, and then it's Bondo. Okay, so the Goblin is now going to make a cool test because it's seen pretty much most of the people that started this entire endeavor with being slaughtered or running away. Um, it is, oh shit, okay, so it suddenly bolts, it just, it just sort of makes a noise, like, Aah! and it turns and just leaps over the barrel, the sort of empty barrel, the burnt out barrel, and starts st stomping its way. I guess it is, um, kind of in combat with Tom, so Tom, you may make a free attack on this, retreat, this fleeing goblin, which is, um, I'm going to give you some more dice, dude, but these dice, uh, it is basically your weapon skill still, there's no modifier, but you get a free attack on it, so you can just give it okay. a good whacking. Give it a good whacking. Here we go. Tree branch round the noggin in three, two, one. Uh, no, not happening. Right, let's do that. Boom. That's a hit. It's That's a 12. A hit. hit. That's a palpable hit. A palpable hit, sir. So D6 there? 12. Right, let's do this. You like, Roll. You have like idiot savant strength, don't you? I, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a me, I'm just a, I'm You're just a big lad. You're a big lad. <laughs> I'm a big. Country born, country bred, thick in the arm, thick in the head. Uh, so I just roll a four, and my strength is four. Yeah, so that's eight. That's gonna kill it. It's already on like, a, it's already been damaged a little bit from the fire. So, um, where is this thing? Uh, this thing is here. Uh, as it sort of jumps over the, the, the. the dying embers of the of the barrel the half like blown up barrel uh, you give it a good thwacking straight across its back can i can i describe the move please, please do I'm, I'm begging you i'm eating chocolate so please do so it, it runs it runs away and it leaps over the the barrel mm -hmm. i throw my wooden tree branch staff and and just wang it around the back of the head just <laughs> kind of like the end of the staff just goes doesn't go into its head it doesn't it's not but it just it's kind of like the bit in um crocodile dundee where he takes the guy out with a can of beans it's like that except goblin death <laughs> sorry <laughs> so not like that at all in the slightest it's actually it's a, it's a star no bro, no no the, the only difference is that in crocodile dundee presumably he just concussed the guy whereas i mean maybe he did kill the guy i don't know we never <laughs> Maybe that was a deleted scene. I feel um, we're spending too much time on Crocodile Dundee. I think we should really just root this into what... Crikey! Crikey! Really, crikey. Really it's not crazy. a knife. <laughs> oh, that's Steve Irwin, not Crocodile Dundee. Ah, <laughs> same We're same really off. off tonight. <laughs> okay, so Crocodile <laughs> Dundee aside, you smash the back of the head of this goblin. It goes pinwheel Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> Leave crocodile, leave Paul Hogan alone. So we just, he starts pinwheeling across and ends up and smacks around on the floor there. Um, you're doing pretty fucking well, you know. That's pretty good, Tom. I'm pretty What's happy. even left here? I can't even tell. Um, not very much, and they're all going to start making panic rolls. So, um... Doop, 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 doop. Kill uh, them. Let's go with the Kill them all. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, that's a critical failure. 
wow, talk about your roles being bad. Okay, so every, yes, so, <laughs> yes, they were. So this the giant spider. All these spiders sort of like start screeching and scuttling around. This one leaps straight up into the rafters like this, and joins its like brethren who are now scampering out the windows, and um, and this starts like the little one starts scampering away from you. Steve, you make it make a free hit. Bondo, you can make a free hit as well. <laughs> uh, so both of you please roll your weapon skill, and then it's just a straight free hit. That's for Steve and Bondo. Sorry, Steve and Jim. Sorry. Righty hand. Rolling, rolling, rolling. 91. Oh, mm. wow, okay. That's okay. You just miss it as it, as it runs off. And uh, Steve? Steve? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Doctor in the house. Yeah. No, sorry, I'm getting a bit of. Um, I've had to switch to my phone and it's a bit slow. Mm. Uh, so, what am I getting? Um, Ooh, that's a hit. Six. Nice. Okay. A roll of die. Mm -hmm. Nice. Here we go. It's a, a one. one. Um, that's a five, a six, right? Six. Yeah. Well, it's just a little spider, so yeah, you, you kill it. So it's past you by this. Yeah. Tell me how you slice it, sir. You slice it. <laughs> yeah, just surgical precision. Slice all the legs off one side, and then it just ble let it just leave it bleeding as it crawls around in circles on the floor. <laughs> God, you spend a lot of time thinking about how you kill things. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a doctor in real life, you say. Okay. All right. So these things will start scampering off, and they start. Oh no. Well, it's okay. Oh, everyone hates it. Oh, no, they don't. I'm just getting life. used to it. Yeah, it's a fan favorite, I'm I sure. I could have given it this noise. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be better? That's, That's my noise. indigestion. Yeah. <laughs> Would you oh, prefer we that noise? We need to find something that makes that noise. Would you like that? <laughs> Would that be more exciting for you? Can, can, you, can you do that on command, or is that just when you belch? Really oh, well? I see. The games master just makes noise for the amusement of the players on command. Dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, Let's not forget the people on Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, I can fucking do it on command. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. So, so these things scarper off and, and leave you uh, in the middle of what is now, I'm going to say, I'm going to have to say it, what is now a burning um, town hall. The people, well, let's not go as far as that because honestly, I'm, I don't want to tell you to do things. Um, but yeah, the, 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 this building is now starting to burn. <laughs> Um, and it's starting to catch fire, and, and it's, it's now so the fire has been spread across. And you see one of the cocoons is on fire and is burning down like this. All of the monsters have fled, apart from the, obviously the ones that you dispatched, uh, including the goblin, uh, who's now fled as well. Um, you are all standing in a burning building. You're not in immediate danger, but having this building is definitely a light now. What are you going to do, folk? And take it sort of narratively speaking, so you can talk amongst yourselves and shout out what you want to do. Bondo uh, reckons there's some villagers need rescuing out there. That one looks alive. Okay. Uh, Good I, call. Yeah, yeah. so Fuck try and cut people down. I mean, you know, okay. Let's not drag them out once, of the building. So one at a time. Yeah, sorry, Jim. You go ahead. You can try and drag them out. I cut them down and drag them out. Okay. Um, Steve, what are you doing? I'm going to grab the sword off the floor. <laughs> Very wise. Okay. Shout. Then, on the way to saving a burning villager. I'm going to try and sure. pick a burning beast. <laughs> Fine, yeah, okay. Um, and take it out the back door that Veronica blew, blew in the place. That seems to be the most direct okay, path so you, out. You find the spider sword and you pick it up. Can you please make a willpower test? Oh, oh no. no. It's, it's, not not what you think. it's not what you think. Uh, what is your willpower? It's, exactly it's not what you think. What? It's um, what you think. What's right, your willpower? Uh, what, Willpower is 34. Okay. So I roll the dice then. Is yeah, that okay? Man. Here we right. go. Roll the dice. Oh, 23, baby. All right. Okay, cool. So you pick up a sword, and you, the first thing that happens to you is the whole world sort of just goes and just sort of shifts a little bit, like one of those shift movement things. And it, you don't see anything, any discernible difference, uh, dis, uh, difference to what you've experienced before. However, you, you can hear in the fading background, almost like something's moving away. You can hear a voice, but it's like a <laughs> like that. But then you can sort of feel like it's saying, run, escape, flee. Words to that effect. The feeling Ooh. is it's saying flee and run. But it's definitely not speaking Old Worlder or uh, any other language that you may or may not know. 
it's it's yeah. speaking something that you understand. It's cool. a very strange experience. The sword also feels incredibly light and very fast, almost like it guides your motions a little bit. Um, oh. It's a very very cool sword. <laughs> Can you please cool. put down spider sword on your on your couch sheet? And tentacles. You've got tentacles. Just oh, a minute tentacles. Now. Oh, oh my god, you haven't got tentacles. My arm. Jesus Christ. If my arms lit, it's just <laughs> length. No, but you definitely feel like your puberty just kicked in a notch more. <laughs> <laughs> like you've got a few more, a few more like strands of like mustache hair. I can hair feel here. growth under my pit. Yeah. yeah. Um, your armpit it's... hair gets a little bit longer. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> sure. Why not? Scratching so, sensation uh... on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Okay. So I will. Yeah. I'll stow the sword. Um, and. Um, sort of charge try and unhook one of these um wrapped up villagers and hurl them out of the burning building okay so a, you go up to one of yeah. the cocoons and start hacking away at the like the, the threading that's holding the cocoon you do <coughs> notice as you're doing it as it moves left and right this cocoon there's a lot of blood that comes out of it and the cocoon is not moving within and the blood is just like okay. it looks congealed and heavy and uh, like it's been there for a while and i don't know you, you cut okay i'll move on to the cocoon <laughs> Sure, you start moving on. Okay, the next up in Ratty. What are you doing, sir? Ratty. Uh, who else needs need rescuing? I'm going to go for a rescue on someone. <clears throat> okay, you, you actually you feel drawn towards a smaller cocoon. Um, it's about it's over here, and it seems like it's a lot smaller. You notice that it is actually huh? moving. It's like pulsating and moving a little bit. Uh, I'm going to place you okay. next to it. Okay. So you're just over here, and cool. it's pulsating and moving, and it feels like there's a couple of things alive inside it. Um, it weirdly, it pokes out at different directions at certain points. So whatever's inside it, it feels quite small, and there's more than one of them, uh, whatever it is. But the thing is starting to catch okay. fire now, so the, the corner of the cocoon is now slightly smoking. All right, I've got like a little uh, clasp knife, yeah, so sure. I'm going to just use that to... Um, slice up just gently slice away the strands well quickly but gently <coughs> okay you dive your dagger straight into it and you sort of like very gently rip it open <clears throat> and as you open it these two forms like jump at your face and um, but they land on your shoulders and scurry oh, around God, it's <laughs> and scurry <laughs> <laughs> it's like a face hugger yeah these two face hugger like and they're very much the emphasis on hugs these two furry face oh. spin around oh. your it neck and they just start nuzzling into you, and they just like you can feel these little tiny little claws like clasping on your neck and your your clavicle and your sh and your shoulder, but your collarbone, and you and these little wet noses start poking against your ears, and you realise that either oh, side of your shoulders, as you look left and right, are two small ferrets, very grey with black faces and uh, white um, uh, the, the white uh, sort of white patches around their eyes. Like one's got a white patch on its left eye, the other one's got a white patch on its right eye with like long gray and white black tails and they're incredibly cute in fact make a, a resistance to cute test which is a, <laughs> <laughs> uh, willpower, test. a willpower test make a willpower <laughs> test to fall in love with them and getting charmed by their cuteness okay make a willpower test i'm not kidding make a willpower test <laughs> okay i'm rolling that's a total fail you completely fail and fall head over heels in love with these two ferrets oh, oh. so um, uh, role playing test I've ever had to make. Isn't so, it uh, just? Isn't it? Wait till next time. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what I'm going to do is because my my um, bath robe gown thing that I stole from the um, inn has got big pockets yeah. that invariably I I stuff with bits of herbage and random bits of grass and stuff that I just pick as I'm walking along. So I just open up those pockets, one on either side, like offering the ferrets like little houses <laughs> <laughs> with controlled rent i hope right no decent <laughs> like low rent, well, low rent. <laughs> okay so you, you you proffer these two strange ferrets uh housing accommodation within your robe and they immediately take you off and off and they dive down into the little pockets um is there a preference where these pockets are or just random pockets on your body how many pockets is this it's thing just have? like you know one you know one big um bathroom bath yeah yeah, you've got a pocket on each side. <laughs> so it's like, hang on, I have to draw you now. All right, so, so it's like this. <laughs> with a little ferret sticking out like this. 
and then there's another one like this a little ferret just yeah looking, and it's just like your little pockets here yeah <laughs> and this is you looking really happy with two big thumbs yeah. up hey. <laughs> okay hey. that's you with a little thumbs up as well <laughs> okay so sorry we it's need to take pictures day, on though. instagram neil that's your belly button. on instagram uh, I guess so. Okay, so this is like Tom. <laughs> e, and that's your that's your wooden branch, which you say the wiz wizard staff. We all know it's a branch. Okay, cool. That's now Tom looking great, and he's a ferret. <laughs> <laughs> cool. There you go. There's a, you got ferrets. So yeah, you rescue these ferrets that are eternally grateful. Um, maybe you're like warrior slaves from now on. Okay, uh, that's your role. Uh, I'm assuming you're diving out with your um, your, your your wards in your pockets, right? Unless there's anyone else that needs a hand. The whole thing's um, starting to burn yeah. really fiercely. So to be honest with you, you've wasted so much time on these noxious animals that, that you're probably not going to be able to help a sentient being. But yeah, that's fine. You can just like get out of there, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I, that made you feel bad, didn't it, Tom? I didn't want to make you feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, guy, and you're just like, nah, get out of there, mate. Get out. Get out while the going's good. <laughs> okay. Well, you can try and find somebody else. You can. You can definitely have a look. But this thing is starting to really take uh, set fire now. And, and I mean, I'm, I'm operating within the bounds of caution, but if any of the other... I, I'm glancing around okay. and looking to see if any of the other party members need some help or if there are any other people stuck that Hello, seem to be the moving. Hello, brain damage. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's a good point. Actually, you do see somebody that's in need. It's the actual, the halfling rogue has landed head first and is completely dazed. He's trying to stand up and is literally like falling down every couple of minutes. Oh, sorry, every, every few seconds he tries to stand up and then falls over again. His head has got a really nasty gash over it. In fact, you, you kind of saw his descent. He's, he's lucky to be alive, but he, he literally like dived almost head first into the dirt and smashed down at a really awkward angle. And the fact that he's still kicking is, is extraordinary. But he's not in a good way. He's, he's sort of standing and then falling backwards and falling over. He looks like he's All right. really concussed. So you can definitely go and help him. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to move to help him then. All right, cool. So you managed to get him back you know. on his feet. Bondo, what are you doing, sir? This place is aflame and it's not looking good. What do we have in the way of spare coons that Make we an can rescue? Make an initiative test, please. Yes. is 93 okay as far oh, as i can you... take that as a fail yeah that's a huge fail as far as you can see there's nothing else going to survive this like everything's dead or that it's been burned or it's dying so you might as well just get out of here and wait for the rest right, um step so is is um ziggy going out the back door is he yeah he looks like he's going out the back but this is not yeah. a huge town hall so you could probably just go around the side okay well i'm going to head out towards where ziggy's going i mean um, Ratty seems to have Eddie sorted out. Yeah, I imagine up. he's carrying him out, or you know, give him yeah, an arm around him, whatever. He's following the same way that um, Ziggy's going, so they're going to be fine. So you can just skirt around the side of the building if you want. I'll play catch up and head out that way. All right, cool. Um, we're going to go back into narrative, folks, because I think it's kind of self-explanatory. So um, you all exit the burning town hall, which is now very much a light. Um, as you make it out, sort of coughing and uh, grateful to be alive, am amazed to be alive, perhaps, at such overwhelming odds, uh, there is no evidence of Veronica anywhere. She is hightailed. You can see none of you have followed trail, do you, as a skill? She lives on. No. No, she's gone. Okay, so you, you manage... Whoops, shit. Oh, I just killed you all. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I think we had spares over here Hi. somewhere, didn't we? Uh, no, it's cool. I'm just going to rewind time and just get you back as well. Um, yet, 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 oh yet, shit! Yet, I just yet, 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 I'm going to hand it back to roleplay to you folks of what you want to do next. But this town is uh, is definitely now, if it wasn't abandoned before, it definitely is now. Uh, as you Welcome think, most, big capital F. Yeah, most of the, the, the townsfolk probably were inside that building. Uh, and it's not, a huge, it's not a huge village town, so you think that was probably most of the villagers. What are you going to do now? Um, Teddy, you've sort of more or less come to. Raskin's got his, his big meaty yokel arm around you. 
and has dragged you sort of out. Oh, what the uh, fuck uh, happened? Jesus Christ, that was a terrible idea. Why did you fucking make me do that? <laughs> well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, you know. <laughs> He's not talking to us. <laughs> 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 Oh, I, like he, he I like that he's yeah, good. I for one thought it was very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stage dive. What are you guys going to do? <sighs> fuck, we've got to I get mean, the fuck out of here. Head back to the war penguins. Yeah. Back to the war penguins. They're not war like in that horses. idea. That was a mistake. Add to center class. <laughs> let's, let's blow this joint. Let's blow this joint. How what do you How am I going to explain to Father Christmas that I cut his wife's arm off? <laughs> Are you taking the <laughs> arm for evidence? Yes, that's a great yeah. idea. Right. I'm going to run back into the burning building. Wedding ring on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, yeah this is indeed her left arm, and they do use wedding rings like they do in Christianity here, I guess. Uh, or, or actually, not just Christianity, in m many different cultures, they have left, left he wedding rings. He probably knows that his wife's a spider demon worshipping cultist. You don't know oh, that. He's probably in on it as well. Yeah, <coughs> thought she just had Tuesday for uh, embroidery, but you know. Okay. <laughs> so, like many I cultures, thought... like many cultures and religions, they have a wedding. She has a wedding band um, on oh. her left arm hand. So you take, you pick up the left arm. <laughs> you take up. <laughs> sorry, it's not the casualty. Oh, waving at each cool. other with it. <laughs> so you pick up the left it's arm. Like... And hoof it. Are you gonna put it in a sack or something? That's what adventurers do, isn't it? <laughs> Stuff Thanks. like. Thanks. Things that you only say in role-playing games. I pick up the left arm. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, the floor. Up sack. Put it in my backpack. Yeah. Take it back to the burning Father. building. Right. Um, yeah. So you, you I slap Rafferty with it. You, so you, you, you wrap her <laughs> left arm in some kind of like I guess rag thing you find, and then you sort of stow you stow it, and at least that's some kind of evidence is what you're saying, as opposed to being just yeah. a mad person rambling. Um, Honestly, that was how it happened. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so, uh, what are you going to do? What's your, what is your plan? You've got your, your I guess your coach is it's still there. The, the, the Steve's horse is still there as well, presumably. Um, you haven't checked, but what is your what's the overall plan to go back to Sinterklaas? That needs to be done. Yeah. We've still got half this village to loot, haven't we? <laughs> also, God, make a very good point there. <laughs> Man, the body Isn't that why we came here? Yeah. <laughs> What do you want to do, folks? I think we should head back to camp. I think, you know, there's still lots of spiders and it's only a matter of time before their natural urges um, to eat Maybe us. Maybe in character, folks? Hey, you reckon um, we should get out of here? I think we'll get the fuck right out of Dodge. You're right. Get the fuck out of here now. You agree with that. Bondo agrees with that halfling. Fuck yes. Fuck right. Come on. I'm out of here. You screw you guys. Let's go. Come on then, Longshanks. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna start racing towards. Is that a common consensus? You're gonna race towards the front of the village and get back on the, your horses? Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm loving that idea. Okay, so the town hall's fire is now well and truly um, going. It's, it's going with great gusto. So much so that the wind itself carries some of the flames of this fire that's now building up and starts hitting the other uh, buildings around it, even lands as far as the buildings that you were first in. And you can see the embers of fire starting to light up. It's far too big and far too um, spreading too quickly for you to do anything about it. You managed to flee your way past uh, these buildings with a touch of regret. Um, and there's not really much you can do, actually. It's not really your fight, as it were. You've managed to get out of here with your life. You get back to the horse and cart. Um, Steve, your nag. Who, what, is your nag what, is your, what is your nag call, your horse call? Viticus. The Viticus. <laughs> Right. It's this old, like, <laughs> wizened, aged pony that's barely standing up on four legs. It's called Leviticus. Cool. <laughs> All right, Leviticus. Okay, so you get back onto your horse. Um, Jim, you're in control of this cart, I believe. Yeah. And uh, all, four, all three of you sort of get back on the cart and you sort of back it up like beep, 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 beep. You, you lead it. the horses round. You've beep. clearly not dealt with horses. <laughs> really, it's been a long time. And so you managed to turn the horses round and then you set off down at breakneck speed um, towards Sinterklaas and his, uh, and his um, wagon train. As you get um, towards, oh, sorry, is there anything you're doing in between? I mean, obviously you're staying pretty close. You're riding quite fast and quite close between each other. Um, is there anything you want to do while you're on the back of this coach? And Jim obviously is uh, is is he's the only the person cart, to drive so I'm kind of busy. You're kind of busy, but um, Steve, 
you kind of can do things. I guess Tom and um, Pete can do things as well. What's is there anything specific that you want to do? Uh, yeah, I gotta um, go to work now. Um, so I'm gonna have to drop off now anyway. You have to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're semi-conscious, so it's quite cool. Fine. Okay. So as you, <laughs> I forgot you all have lives beyond the show. <laughs> right. So as you start, as you start like breaking speed, heading towards the valley uh, floor where you know that you're supposed to be meeting Sinterklaas, you hear this <laughs> from each corner around you, and you see on top of these monstrously huge spiders, four goblins pointing and screaming and jabbering at you as they roll down the sides of the valley walls. Uh, heading towards your cart at breakneck speed. On top of one is actually Veronica, now a glow in purple and pink and green colours, screaming with one arm missing, holding a staff in front of her, which cackles with yellow lightning. She points down Ooh. towards the cart and issues something in a language none of you understand, and all four of the giant spiders move straight towards you as you gallop along at break breakneck speed. I guess we'll have to hold it here because Pete's got to selfishly go to work. Fuck you, Pete. Shut <laughs> <laughs> bum. Right. Um, sorry, I was a bit tired tonight, folks. That was a bit, um, bit long, really, wasn't it? Sorry, that was, a, that was one of those my mouth wouldn't catch up with my brain moments. Um, that's it, folks. Um, I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> this episode. <laughs> this chapter. Cool. It's not all, it's not always combat. Sometimes there is silliness. Yeah, it is silliness sometimes. <laughs> this is pretty combat heavy. So thank you very much for my players as always. Thank you all to be listening in and supporting. Uh, obviously our show doesn't exist without an audience. Um, so thank you very much for sticking with us. This is now chapter four. That means we've done five episodes, which is pretty cool. We're going to try and carry on. We're taking a break for about a week or so, and we'll be back. I think we said on the twenty sixth of July, which will be yeah, Sunday the 25th, right, yeah. 26th, 26th, we'll be back then, so thank you very much for sticking with us, catch us then, and over to the boys to say a huge, thank you, and Hi. good night, thank good you morning, fun. wherever you are, thank you, and goodbye, thank you, to, to people in Twitch land, <laughs> um, and thank you very much to Yogo11 for their help, and also to Blue Owls, for just you, Yogo. Me things are okay. thank you, thank you, have a really good night, folks. See you soon, and stay safe. Oh, oh wait, I missed it. I missed it. You're going to do it again. One more time. You have to wait. Oh. Fuck like your work, okay? Now flip. Yeah. I missed it. I was going to OBS. Do it. There you go. Someone else did it. That's a Wait. <laughs> hey. Look, it's so beautiful. It's <laughs> okay. raining things. <laughs>